Hello. It's 7 p.m. Hope everyone's having a good night. Happy Thursday. Um, so I'll wait a bit here. Oh, here we go. Hello? Oh, I heard you, maybe. Ah, uh, hello. Awesome, hello. Hey, everybody, this is 5'7 Scowl. Thursday Night Doubles Frequenter. Hopping on commentary tonight. I would like to be a frequenter again. Oh yeah, I was just talking with um with Guy. I was thinking I might after this might swap it to bi weekly. Oh yeah? Yeah, I just like you know attendees are going down. No one not as many people signing up. And I'd like to be able to go to my locals, which are on Thursday. Oh your locals are on Thursday as well. Yeah, it's mm. uh, how unfortunate. And I, we've talked about this before, I really pigeonholed myself in there with the name, you know? I can't switch... Yeah, I was just about to say... I like, can't switch how, nights. <laughs> how extremely unfortunate. You'd have to change the entire identity of the tournament itself. Right. So, that's not going to happen. <laughs> what about you? So, you've been going to any locals? Because those are tonight, too, right? Um, yeah, so... Our... Gosh, if I want to like talk about this for like a few minutes, go ahead. I can tell you. Yeah, I'm um, just waiting for a match to stream. So the Dallas Fort Worth area of Texas is rather large. It is a metropolitan area with several different like cities. A couple of major ones, Dallas and Fort Worth, of course, being the the big ones. Yeah. Like a lot of the suburbs are giant enough that they're basically their own city complex, and so. Within that entire area, you know, it takes 30, 45 minutes to drive from one end to the other in a straight line. There's so many tournaments, right? So yeah. many players, so many good players that want tournaments. So several of the existing tournament venues closed down or have not yet uh, started their, their tournament series back up. But one of the big ones that, that was always on Thursdays has opened back up under a new venue. Um, they did have their own brick and mortar store. They were like a, a video game retro uh, merchandise yeah, store. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. Um, they still have an online store, but their brick and mortar like shop closed down. But they partnered with a, a bar slash arcade in the area that has a few locations. And the bar slash arcade likes the idea so much that they're letting them host in different parts of the Metroplex, like oh. one on the east side, one on the west side with Fort Worth, one one incoming on the north side with Denton, which is where I am. Um, but like there's already three per week, I think, going on right now of that same tournament series. So, that's crazy. Are different people running that? That sounds kind of exhausting. No, it's actually one guy who really wants to see the Smash scene keep thriving. Holy cow. It, the, the Smash scene took. So right now, it's like all the previous tournaments that happened in the area are now happening under this one banner in different places. So pretty much... All the, I think there's, there's another local on shoot Sundays. I don't remember when the other one goes on, but we've got several locals happening again. Um, and since Cheeks has finally decided he found a character that he's going to stick with. What do you Roy, settle on? Was it Roy? Roy, yeah. Funny, the only one that he didn't stick with long enough to win a Thursday Night Doubles. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I saw him play maybe once. Yeah. But yeah, so he's he's going to those locals um, now because he's starting to place in the money in, in a region that grew stronger over uh, quarantine, I think. Or like the average skill of the average player who's entering the tournaments right now while they've got the entrance cap set 
is like they fill up front heavy at the beginning and it's it's just a bunch of good players going to those tournaments but cheeks nonetheless is performing pretty well didn't he get second i think so i saw he's, it on he's just uh, going to those i think i saw on twitter didn't he play second in something yeah he drove down to austin and uh placed second it's crazy in one of their more i think one of their bigger locals there i saw him kill a squirtle at zero Yes. <laughs> and the commentators didn't think that Roy could kill at zero. Wild. All right. Uh, how's the Discord share working out for you? Can you see okay? Yep. Um, just seeing just seeing a match start. Awesome. Oh, these guys are blue. Okay, fix the colors up. Okay, the double me sword fighter. Oh, no. You know, we played a double me sword fighter some odd months ago in our round one and it was more stressful than i like really thought it was going to be me sword fighter is good in doubles i've been playing with uh with guy and he's been guy fix a new main like every month and the main for this month is me sword fighter and they're actually really nice to be on a team with in doubles because like the tornado has like the set knockback it so, covers so much of the stage. Yeah, it's just, it's real and, easy and to it's combo easy off of. confirms. Yeah, it's very, very, super easy confirms. One of the highest hit stun or game, oh, like moves in the game. Ooh, didn't quite dodge that. Nope. <laughs> dodged in again, got forward tilted by Joker. Such is life when you're off stage versus characters like these who can cover so many things. So I'm not very knowledgeable about anime, but I'm pretty sure that one guy, thats he's the Persona 4 main character, I think. And I'm not sure about Mr. Blue Hair. I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> I All I know about Persona is music good. Oh yeah, I played Persona 5, I liked it a lot. And I'm not someone who's into like anime or like that kind of style at all, but I really liked it. Mm-hmm. Sort of, sort of me with Fire Emblem. I, yeah. I am into Fire Emblem, just like not that that much into the style. I just like the games that I've played in Fire Emblem. So. I, I have only played the like original U.S. Fire Emblem, but I liked it a lot. The Shadow Dragon with with Marvel? no, no, no. The uh, the one with like Glyn at the beginning, and you play okay. as like Hector. Uh, okay, yeah. I could never remember which which was the original in US. Yeah, so that's the only one I played. And then I tried Sacred I Stones, and I just, I don't know, I didn't vibe with it. Really? I love Sacred Stones. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Like, I jumped into it, like, right after... Oh, that's gonna be an SD from CX. Is, yes. So far, I've been seeing... Ooh! I wasn't sure that get-up attack was gonna reach. That's one thing about the Miis, is that they, one of their strengths is just, your opponent isn't going to know the matchup, most likely. Mm. That's the strength That's... of playing any, like, low tier. Yeah, ask anybody I've ever talked to about, ooh, the hitbox just completely feeding out <laughs> yeah. the range of the uh, Mii Swordfighter upbeat. I'm surprised about that one. Now, I always say about the all three of the Miis, um, is that every time you fight them, you're learning a matchup on the fly. Yeah. Hey, Strider, and thanks for the follow. if you don't adapt well enough to that matchup on the fly, then you've lost to a mediocre character. <laughs> so there's always a certain amount of pressure when you're playing against any of the Miis. I hate whenever I'm playing against a Mii. And like, well, first of all, one of them, like, he was trying to start the match without telling me his loadout. And like, I was like, oh, I need to know what you got. Because if you're hiding a counter and you whip it out on game three, you know, like, I'm going to be upset. Mm -hmm. So I asked him for, like, his number thing. But, like, even when they send you those numbers, I don't know what they mean off the top of my head. Who knows what they mean? Like, I have to go look it up every time. Yeah, you got to go look it up on Wikipedia. Hey, list, you play a me. Not, like, seriously. I would never whip out the me brawler on someone in a tournament. No, I have never once in my life known what moves I'm gonna see. When, when they tell you me. the numbers. <laughs> yeah. They put it in their tag and I'm like, 
Great. Who the hell knows what that means? It's the same exact thing as playing against a hero on a different language setting that you don't speak. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad like that like I haven't had to deal with that yet. I, Me too. That would be awful. But the same exact thing happens because, like, who cares about the Miis enough to know that, first of all? <laughs> I feel like and even if I main the Mies, that's a lot of having to memorize, right? Like, that's is. three numbers for four slots for three characters. Exactly. And, like, of those people self-aware enough to know that they don't care about the Mies, how many of them are going to carry a cheat sheet <laughs> for, like, when they happen to run into a me in bracket? S sit down in bracket without, like, mean. without a little flip book <laughs> as the, mm -hmm. the Mies uh, moves on them. Okay, so it looks like the, the Mies were kind of like a meme pick, maybe? Maybe these are who they yes. actually play. They might have been a meme pick. Um, of the new characters they've chosen, uh, I'd say it's going to have a whole lot better time off offstage. Um, and probably Marth too. Then I just noticed a lot of the time they took damage was offstage against Gordos, or offstage like they didn't manage their recovery well. Marth does There's good against DDD. Oh man, very nice my green, double kill, same exact time. No, Marth does pretty Do good against love. DDD for the um, like the standard DDD ledge trap that you see with like the going to the platform and Gordo. Marth's sword will like poke through the stage and reflect it. So it's not too bad for him to recover. Uh -huh. So, okay, I figure if anybody could tell me this, it would be you. Is there a percent threshold that a Gordo must take to be fired in the opposite direction? Yeah, it... it's it's 2%. Okay. So, so it's not a knockback thing. It's just any move that is 2%. I've never known. I always kind of assumed that it was oh. a, does the move have knockback? If so. Yeah, but a lot of times, but... like, multi-hits won't reflect it back. Because only the last hit of the multi-hit does enough percent. That's good to know. Speaking of DDD, there was a good cancel there by um, Hilly. He was going to land right on top of his partner with uh, with an upbeat, but he canceled it, and like so only the ground happened. Ooh. Mark getting a little jump happy, and Hilly called it out with an up tilt. A comfy two-stock lead going into game two for green team here. And Arsene is about to come out. No, I'm sorry, Arsene did come out. Ekasuba has to watch out here. He is getting up there in percent. One good Arsene hit will take him out. Looks like Arsene's going to run out before that happens, though. Oh, Hilly might be dead if he doesn't have a jump. Oh, never mind, he's alright. Yeah. Yellow team, yellow team getting very antsy. Oh, man! For ledge options, but, you know, it paid off there. But still, they gotta be careful about uh, putting all their eggs into one, one basket, one move, so early. So I'm seeing a few somewhat desperate attempts at edge guards. <laughs> they have evened up the stocks, though. Good DI there from ZX. Gonna survive that up air. Ooh, there's no jump on Joker. He does get back with that air dodge, though. Okay, Hilly's up tilt taking one stock. <laughs> They're looking to finish off ZX, and the back air will do it. Hilly and Joe to be taking it 2-0. Well, that game was a lot closer. Last stock... Maybe should have not led with the double me's. Maybe not. But, you know, who knows? Maybe they'll make a, a good loser's run, gain some confidence back, and do better with double me's. Who knows? Yeah, it could have just been like a weird thing first match today. That's the thing. Like, we assume, like, oh, it might be a meme pick, but maybe it's not. Maybe these are just two me sword fighter mains. Hey, very well could be. You know, some of these double character picks are unreasonably strong sometimes. <laughs> yeah, double DDD is ridiculous. Um, 
a lot of the double heavies, like, you can go double Bowser and just kind of, like, you know, jump and press A at people and have it work out. Yeah, su such a team kind of puts uh, a strange pressure on the other team. If, if they're not very sound players who are feeling very confident, double heavies can spook you. Yeah, and it feels I, terrible if you're down time. to them, because it's like, why am I losing to this? <laughs> And especially online when, say, Ganondorf has no reason not to just pick a smash and use yep. it. Because every now and then, it'll just work out, especially online. So when the, the risk-benefit analysis is, is kind of skewed that way, and you pick it twice. And sometimes you can get bailed out by a partner for, for picking a normally unsafe option. I mean... Double heavies can be scary. Right. And double other other characters too. Who Two do you heroes? Double hero. Who do you think yeah. is like the best if you were to run two of one character? Um Really? I think hero might be up there. Because it's very hard to keep track of two menus at once. Yeah. And remembering which one you're playing versus which menu you're reading. Um and that's that's on top of trying to keep track of which percent is which, uh, you know. Oh yeah, that that bad, gets way harder. Yeah, I, I I I have a terrible time, personally, keeping track of the percents on two of the same character. So I will flub a lot of confirms. Yeah, I know what you mean. And adding on to that, uh, another hero's man account, another hero's menu. Another hero's active buffs. Yeah, you're right. That would be really uh, tough. Two two heroes is, I think, uh, it may not be the most fundamentally sound team, but it, in sheer terms of how much mental capacity you have to take from the other team, I think it's a a team with a whole lot of potential uh, as as far as the double of the same character goes. I don't think I'd want to be playing hero in doubles, just because of the way your menu is in a different spot every game. At least online. Like, yeah, I don't know. I think that's a small price to pay for what the uh, opponent goes through, though. <laughs> yeah. What What are your thoughts? Like, do you well, have any statistically, other good... it's double DDD, but that just might be because yeah. he's popular. That could be. I, I don't know. You make some good points. I might agree with you. Yeah. Two Ikes is also real good. He just... Oh, yeah, an, yeah. An They're good at passing to each other. Another Ike really well. You just need one person who's very comfortable at playing point. His Ike doesn't have very good frame data. But the confirms he can give to himself are pretty stupid. Okay, it looks like we're going to be watching Hilly and Joe to be again their next opponents it's gonna be Ground. fantasy and let me see who is this defacas don't know how to say that defacas i should probably get the bracket open so i can see the matches you're talking about it's so tiny it's, <laughs> it's our 50th 50th tournament and it's teeny tiny i don't know what happens oh, is it yeah, this is the smallest one we've had in, like, months. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I'm clicking in now. Oh, yeah, wow, this is a little bit, a little bitty. Dang. Let's see. Oh, Army's in this one. Evil Goku and Army. He, play, um, he plays Olimar, right? Yeah, he plays Olimar and... Sephiroth? He and his brother, I think, both play Sephiroth, but... I'm surprised I haven't seen them enter together. Maybe it's a question of bandwidth. Oh, him and his brother? I, I know, yeah, I know I have, uh, so Curry and Army are brothers. Oh, yeah, I don't think I I've seen them play together. You've had Curry. Yeah, you've had Curry in this tournament, and yeah. now you've had Army in this tournament. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen them enter together, and I'm, I wonder if that's uh, an issue of 
them wondering if their like their internet can handle them both playing at the same time. Oh, Even they they say uh, Seth G seventy six says we plan to you and Monado me's before the tourney. We thought it'd be funny. See, I knew they were anime me's. Is you Monado is he the Persona memes. Four character? Was I right? Oh, it's ZX. Oh, it's ZX. There we go. I'm I'm a Persona expert. I knew who that was. Monado is Persona Three. I bow to your Persona knowledge, <laughs> where I have none. Always, it's nice seeing some characters we don't normally see. Me Sword Fighter, pretty good in doubles. Yeah. I'm trying to think, are there any? I, I've seen people in my region play Me Sword, but I don't think any of them have ever really seriously picked up Me Sword. But it'd be neat to see, you know, some of the good players I know, if they had if they had stuck with it. It'd be neat to see them play in doubles. That's definitely one of those characters. I would not want to play against me, Sword Fighter. That is an infuriating matchup. Um, yeah. But on my team, yeah, let's go for sure. Not that the character is good, but um, there's just some tools that get annoying to have to dodge. Wow, rude! What? It's not. It's not rude to say you don't want to. It's annoying to play against a certain character. Like that's the goal. It's supposed to be annoying. Like. That means it's working. Yeah, for, for a lot of characters, the best thing they could hear is that their opponent is annoyed. Actually, for any character, if your opponent is annoyed, they're tilted, they're playing bad. Yeah. I haven't done my... I haven't been doing that thing where I'm trying to get all characters to Elite Smash. I haven't played in like a whole week. I'm on Olimar right now, actually. Uh, and Ulmer is actually kind of okay. I I thought I would hate him, yeah. but he's all right. I don't know his normal moves that well, but like, I know just enough about the theory behind what Pikmin do what and managing a line, how to do it. You know. Yeah, I mean it's kind so of enjoyable. I'm having an okay time player. with him. Mm -hmm. But when I hit someone, I'm like, okay, wait, what do I do next? Yeah. <laughs> but I actually, I was playing randoms. I had a, a little Smash Fest at my place last night, as a matter of fact. Uh, first one I've had um, ever, I think. <laughs> but, you know, the first couple guys showed up and we just started playing some random singles as hand warmers. And I got Olimar, and that's exactly what I did was like, Hit someone for the first time and think, wait, what does Olimar do now? <laughs> Hit him again. Hey, we got right. the raid from Smash Mouth with nine viewers, and we got 50 bits from Black Let's Dragon. Go. 50 weeks of dubs. Thank you, Black Dragon. Thank you, Smash Mouth. Welcome to all of the nine new viewers. Yeah, Smash Mouth is in my, uh, my Wi-Fi crew. I would imagine, I think he was just streaming a crew battle for somebody. Is that true, Smash Mouth? Who was playing? Yeah, who was playing and who won, and who lost. Also, Black Dragon, thank you very much. I appreciate you, it's on Black Dragon. You're here every week, hyping up chat. I appreciate you. Hilly is missing. Yeah, have they checked in? Yeah. I'm not a mod, so I can't just see oh, yeah. those things. But I think if I were a mod, and then I entered the tournament, there would be some kind of conflict of interest or something, so... I mean, lots of mods enter tournaments. It's not really a problem. It can be annoying, though, because I don't know if you've ever been a mod, but it, like, um... Every time you go, uh, Smash GG map. Every time yeah. you go back to that tab, um, like the tab where you like ban stages and stuff, it defaults to like the team on the left. So if you're on the right team, then you have to remember to change that tab. Like it's really easy to ban stages for your opponent. Hmm, that's weird. Smash GG needs help. The website sucks. 
They they just sold. Yeah, Microsoft bought them, right? Help. Mike, yeah, the big fucking deep pockets. Well, nothing has changed, problem. so <laughs> that was like months ago, and nothing has happened. <laughs> Except you get more confirmation emails when you successfully register for a tournament. <laughs> oh yeah. You get like six of them once I'm I'm done registering for a doubles tournament. Yeah, because like you get the invite for you signing up, you get the invite for like when your friend accepts, and then like your team is ready to go, and then sometimes you get more emails for some yeah. tournaments. I'll just send them out. Yeah, I think it's it's. One when you register, and a total of three more after that <laughs> when your teammate registers. The most unnecessary thing. So yeah, I I will agree. Smash GG needs a little bit of help. And why don't they have a mobile app? Yeah, why don't they? Where Hilly? Where is Hilly? I don't know. There's around. nothing going on in chat. I gave him the ID. Joe to be said hi. Fantasy said sup. Fantasy said go have fun. Hmm. Uh, so what do you think about the the new Smash character? You played Tekken at all? No, I... You know, maybe if it were a Soul Calibur character, I'd be a little more into it. Because I played a little bit of Soul Calibur 2 back in the day. I wasn't <laughs> good, I didn't know how to play fighting games, but... I've never played Soul Calibur, least, it looks fun though. Yeah, I at least got attached to some of the characters, you know? But uh, as a Tekken character, I'm just, I'm not excited. <laughs> I played uh, Tekken once. I also don't really completely like uh, how any of the FGC characters play in Smash, so. I have a feeling that, um, what's his face? What is his name even? He starts with a Y, right? I don't know Yakuza. his name. <laughs> Kayuza. Oh, all right. The new but... guy? Is it, is it Kayuza? What the hell is his Kayuza, name? Kayuza, yeah. Um, Kay uh, Kazuya. Kazuya. No. <laughs> That's it. I'm just going to call him Yakuza as a meme, and I'll stick with that. You were saying that, and I was like, that's kind of what I wanted to say, too. There's no way that's his name. <laughs> but what about him? Black Dragon, oh, says there's a, Black Dragon says there's a Snoop Dogg song in Tekken Tag 2 that could be in Smash. I'm excited for that. Okay. There's no that's way that's actually. gonna happen, but... Can you imagine opening <laughs> your, your music tab in an arena? <laughs> seeing Snoop Dogg. Scrolling Dog. down and seeing arrangement Snoop Dogg. Oh, I, I hope so. <laughs> oh, that would be something else. But yeah, I don't know. I probably won't like him. I like playing Terry um, in Smash because he's brain dead easy. But I don't think Kazuya is going to be easy. I think he's going to be very hard to play. Because, I don't know, just from what it looks like, it looks like he has like a, a million combos. That right, you, so like, like inputs are. and stuff. Winner's round two. We've got Fantasy on Corrin. Defikaz? Yeah, I don't know. We're probably not saying that one right. I've seen Fantasy before. Uh, um, not sure if I ever streamed them, but I've definitely seen them. So Corrin, pretty rare pick. Yeah, um, I think Corrin's actually a pretty fine player. Oh, He's there nice. it is. Oh my goodness. The, the classic Nair and the down B. That was an That's early been there stock. Since Brawl. That, I'm fairly sure that that was a real confirm in Brawl too. It's nice to watch. I'm a big fan of it. But Hilly losing their stock very early. As a super heavy character, you don't want to be losing your stock at like 60 or whatever. Yeah. It's not good. It's half of your job in dubs as a character like DDD is to, to live until 200. Yep. Yeah. 
seems to see so far getting some decent mileage out of pin. Just using it when it might take someone by surprise or catch them pressing buttons. Doing well so far. Jota trying to get that R10 meter up before before losing his stock. Fantasy, I'm not even sure what happened to Fantasy. Yeah, I don't know. Just didn't make it. I was watching Jota, thinking, okay, he's really trying to get our sin. Let's see if he, he does. Really, I'm, I'm guessing the uh, ZSS matchup versus DDD is rough for DDD. Yeah, I mean, every matchup is rough for DDD. <laughs> I won't lie. <laughs> yes, I'm not sir. optimistic about that character, but um, I've, I've heard people say that like ZSS is his worst matchup. I, I couldn't tell you. I don't play enough ZSSs. I don't ever fight against ZSS. I don't know why. Ooh, the reverse up B. Yeah, that was good. Down to, to not catch the ledge and reverse it. Took him off the side. That was a really good move. Yeah, I'm liking um, Defic has a ZSS so far. Mm hmm. All right, Arsene is out. Let's see what damage Jota can do. It's an even game right now, but there's. Just a few more seconds of high impact possibility. Oh, right there! Oh, Jota! Oh. Why didn't you just looking. throw a smash attack out or something? Whatever. It wouldn't have killed anyway. It's some damage. Fantasy was only at like 20. The stock is taken off a of deck house, by the way. Um, so it's still. Just about even when you consider how much damage Hilly has taken. Okay, so everyone on their last stock now. A little bit of percent lead for the blue team. Yeah, he's gonna have to hold on to that stock. Oh, okay. Oh, great some, coverage by Defikaz right there. Almost killed, yeah, almost killed Fantasy, but Defikaz was there. That was a very good reaction from them. Hilly was kind of overextending. He was? And that's the kind of awareness that. Oh, really what makes happened? Did you see that? I did. He felt like he should have been spiked, and it would have uh, led to probably an up smash, or at the very worst, an up air or back air. Oh, look out! Oh, that's it. Oh. Gets the footstool with the down V. All right. So this ZSS kind of fresh. Yeah, I'm liking the ZSS a lot. Not trying to say the Corrin isn't. Uh, it's just my eyes. Have <laughs> the ZSS is just doing all the what ZSS yeah, is doing. Yeah, doing the flashy stuff. Black Dragon with the uh, stats desks is our son Dare is two hits. Only got hit by the first non-spiking strike. Thank you for that insight, Black Dragon. I always forget that a bunch of those are like two hits when he has our son. Yeah. Uh, wait, There's wait. really not good, an good. Arsene version of any move that isn't just completely broken. Well, I think some people like his regular up B better. Correction, move with a hitbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. His his up B becomes uh, very edge guardable, very linear, very two frameable with our sin. Alright, no character swaps heading right back in. Let's see, where have they gone for this this match? What do you do to counterpick a ZSS? I don't. I have no idea. What does she hate? I would guess maybe like FD. Like, I have no clue. Because she can do like up air stuff, like similar to like Mario. I'm pretty sure she can ladder you. She does, I guess, have a tendency to kill upward. Her up B, you can di upward. Her up smash is another thing that she commonly gets kills with. So. 
a high ceiling here might help. And it not hurt DDD. Who kills off the sides a lot, I think, with uh, with back air. Yeah. Oh man, that was an early, early stock. stock. What happened? So only 30 seconds into the game, oh. there's one lost stock on Corrin. Already 40% with two hits. Oh my Almost gosh. Dies to an Arsene he is dead. is dead. That was a quick stock. What oh no. So in all of that, Fantasy lost a jump as well. And Yikes, now, there goes Hilly. Only 100% after that hit. That is not good for a heavy. What do you, that Corrin forward smash is rough, man. If you touch any of it, oh, you're getting hit by the fully charged version now. It's one of those that just, if you flinch, it catches you. Yep. Oh, here it comes again. Save him, Hilly! <laughs> See, we've got a second arson in one stock, but yep. not going to get any use out of it. Fantasy is making a lot of use, though, out of forward smash. Mm -hmm. If I'm if I'm red team, I'm probably going to start get up attacking from ledge because we're getting a lot of roll behind and just charge the chainsaw and F smash <laughs> kind of thing. Just want to do anything you can not to get caught in that chainsaw. Uh-oh, here it is again! It's, it's, yep. Bad inhale. It keeps working, so far. So at the ledge, you gotta find a different option, because everyone so far has been caught. And the Corrin player knows it. They look for that. Alright, even stocks for that terrible, terrible start for Fantasy, but uh, Blue Team has brought it back. Still a recent lead, though. Okay. Okay, there's gonna go fantasy. Spray forwarder is gonna swing the momentum of the game for sure. Okay, let's see what uh, Defecaz's ESS can do in the 1v2. Missing the confirms. Yeah. Not getting punished. ESS being one of the safest characters in the game is one of the most well oh wow oh okay okay <laughs> can i live seeing that kill screen i was not ready at 30 percent to be seeing a kill screen i i was definitely not ready and then i saw the trajectory on it and i thought it might have actually killed he had some rage going on it's a light character they're on town and city i was scared for a second oh no okay sd that is tragic That's a you hate to see it end that way, but one one now. Let's see. I think most anywhere would be a fine counter pick, other than. Perhaps so much of the raw kill power is concentrated into one team here, and that's the DDD and the Joker when Joker can get our sin. So I'd probably think maybe Kalos wouldn't be picked. Uh, let me take it's a look. I can find something out. Something like that having giant. Oh, they're going to Lilat. <laughs> yeah, okay. I could believe that. That could that could be seen as a strong pick for just about every character on the screen right now. Yeah, man, I'll go to Lilat. I'll, I'll take anyone to Lilat. Cause odds are they'll hate it more than me. There's some Lilat haters out there. Are you a Lilat hater, Scal? I'm a Lilat hater. <laughs> uh, you'll you'll notice. Uh, You've just about never seen Cheeks and me go to Lilat in this tournament. It's because I've told him I'm personally bad on Lilat. 
and a lot of stage slants. Yeah. And so he bans it out of respect for how poorly I would perform if we went there. I just like outside of that, shoot, I don't care. I don't know. I don't have any like like I'm not a Lila lover. Oh my god, fantasy is dead. Just yeah. two forwarders from Hilly. Just pushing him too far away from the ledge, he can't get back. Jump came out, and Hilly just took that aggression all the way off stage. It's it's looking like Fantasy has lost a few stocks this set from losing jumps off stage now. Yeah, it needs to be more careful. And with these last two that they've got left, you gotta think. They can't do that again. Oh, was that an SD? I was not looking over there. Um, I believe it was. Alright, not a good start for Blue Team. They're significantly far behind right now. Oh, there's another chainsaw. Oh. Yep. Oh, okay. Once, once you're shielding it, you pretty much require saving anyway. Yeah. Anchoring in to get more space, but he goes right into a, a another Gordo. Well placed by Hilly there. Uh oh. <laughs> Joe's gonna what, need some help. What can you do? Nope. You just gotta shield it. Shield it. Hold hold two shield buttons at the same time and tilt it is the best you can do. And wait oh, two shield out. buttons. I always did. Um, you can hold B. Oh, you can hold B, it does the same thing? Yeah. Because if you hold shield button two times, like two different shield buttons, you can't roll. Okay, yeah, I never knew about that method. I only have one shield button mm -hmm. on my controller, though, so... L jump? Uh, I use R jump, but yeah. R jump. Ooh. A lot of people do L jump. I, I mean, that kind of makes more sense, but... I just, I just do claw hold. I just added on the jump later. I, I rarely use it. I just started using it like a little bit more recently. I was just doing, yeah, I was going into like claw sometimes. Mm -hmm. That game was getting really, really close there, but an arson counter, two arson counters within, I'd say, 10 seconds of each other, taking out each of the second stocks from the blue team. Yeah. It just completely, Very good use of it just makes some recoveries completely irrelevant if you just hang Joker by the ledge and do down B. Joe taking full advantage of that. Oh, yikes. Yeah, getting, getting caught by a charged neutral B from Corrin. Everyone on their last stock right now, except for Hilly, still barely holding on to his second. Once so again, it's job. like really bad start for Blue Team, but they've kind of brought it back. Like, it's not a. They're not horribly behind anymore. Really narrowly. Narrowly escaping death there. And there it is. So, everyone on the last stock of this set. Arsene is out. Very good recovery by, by Depikas there. All right, Arsene nearly gone. Maybe Joda can pick up one kill before he goes? No, I don't think so. He's yep. trying real hard. Arsene gone. There goes He's a lot of Joker's easy kill power. But they still have DDD to get some kills here. DDD who has been in a lot of disadvantage this stock. There's stage control now, what can they do with it? Hold shield. Oh, the rollback down smash attempt. Not sure that would have even killed. Ooh, could have probably waited on that. Yeah, almost had it. Just a little impatient. And again, another certain death scenario for a member of blue team that didn't and out. Uh oh, this is gonna be it for Hilly. Oh wow, okay. I think and it, it, it hit his teammate. For long enough. 
All right, we got the one v one. Shields and extended for so long that the teammate came in later. Oh, this might be it. Oh, dear. I think it's gonna shield poke. There it is. That's gonna be it. Holy cow! Very, very close set. The last hit, Fantasy and Defikaz are gonna take it. They're moving on to top eight. Very small well tournament. Well done to the two of them. <laughs> Man, that was close. That was a lot of good use of the forward smash on on Corin. When you recognize that it's working, and you're comfortable with setting up scenarios in which it can work, you can really run a train on people who aren't ready for it. Yeah. And that took so many stocks during the the uh, games two and three of that set. All right, we're going to losers. Let's see. Uh, all right. I'll just wait a little bit. I'll just catch uh, match T in bracket. Okay, so let's see how brackets looking so far. We have um, Evil Goku and Army Ollie were defeated two one by Slushy were and Bruno. Yeah, Slushy, Slushy and Bruno, the um, double heavy team, like we were talking about. They do um, DKK rule. I'm pretty sure. DKK rule. Did it, you watch? Um, did you watch Kirby Kid and RJ make um, that run at? Uh, crap, what was that? That big. The big major, like the first big major. Um, I know what you're talking about. No, I don't think it was so. In Florida, I think. I think I saw like one or two clips from it, but I watched some doubles. I managed to catch some doubles yeah. on Twitch for it. In the midst of so many very very good players it was an inspiration seeing a double super heavy team get all the way up to grand finals up there wait who'd rj play uh he was playing dk oh i've only seen rj play samus i think i'm thinking of like rj was originally a dk and then we're talking about the rj from i believe he's from louisiana just like kirby kid I think so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, you're just playing DK though. DK and Infinity Con. Infinity Con, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, thank you. They got one really big wombo combo clip that it's like it just about killed but didn't. But then they got the stock two seconds later, so it was still hype enough clip because the game ended. Yeah. All right, match is ready. Cool. So, I'm wondering who Army is playing tonight. Evil Goku is, I've only ever seen him on Kirby, trying to Kirby side. He's, uh, <laughs> he does uh, Cloud sometimes, too. Does Cloud have any, like, guaranteed suicide? <laughs> oh, he has up B. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it up B, but yeah. I never know how to feel when I see the like the Kirby side, because like it makes you feel a little sad for his opponents, but at the same time, it's really funny. Yeah. When Cheeks and I played against Evil Goku and Specklar, um, after the first talk I lost, Cheeks just said, "All right, don't mash when he does that." Oh, and he just dies too. I was then. like, "Is that just gonna kill him too?" He said, "Yeah." So, rather than busting out and maybe losing the stock and maybe surviving, I just started looking at the stock count. It's like, if it were even or we were in the lead, I just set my controller down. <laughs> it's if a he, good if he spits me out, I could probably make it back to stage because I've got quick draw. Um, and if he doesn't spit me out, well, then there's no change in the game. Yeah. And I think that advice um, made that set a lot easier on us. I don't know how Kirby's do it. Like him and um, JJ JJ, JJ JJ does it way more consistently. Gets the like gets the suck into the footstool, like every time. 
I think it's a matter of reading someone's jump once they break out. I don't know. I don't know. I just kind of usually do the same thing, but mix up the timing of when I jump and recover. But now that I know, you can just kill him too if you don't mash. When I first, like when I lost my first stock to a Kirby side in that matchup, in that, in that set, it was because I felt myself something like a, I don't know, immune to it. Because other Kirby's I've played, I've mashed out and then footstooled them on the way out. Yeah. But I still don't understand how it happens that way. What I do understand is set the controller down, you both die. And that's okay. <laughs> Not bad. We all have room for learning, improvement. Once I finish, um... Oh, we got the song request. Once I finish uh, doing that, like, Elite Smash thing, I think I'm probably... I'm gonna try hitting the grind again. I haven't, like, practiced <laughs> or been, like, playing tournaments in so long. I'm even more washed than usual. Well, I can't be washed if I wasn't good. I think I lost a lot of my fundamentals um, playing with Cheeks. Um, because when you play with Cheeks, he's so good at doubles. You get a little spoiled. You kind of pigeonhole yourself into doing one or two little jobs, and the rest of it just kind of happens for you, and you end up winning. Yeah. But then you'll go to like a game of singles and realize, wait, my fundamentals are shocked to death. Yeah, and I one thing like in in doubles too, like in doubles, a lot of times you can just kind of get away with just throwing out attacks. There's a lot less like neutral. <laughs> it's yeah. a, a lot more Absolutely. like um, action. Sorry, the scoreboard isn't right. I'll fix it. Oh, it is right. Option Remember. coverage. And yeah. Putting hit boxes out, uh, becoming zoners when you're not really a zoner. Yeah. You know? I know one of them picked Didn't... Mario 2 on purpose. Yeah. So we've got ZX and Ikusu... Ikusaba again versus. Uh, so yeah, this Smuna is and Smuna and Honda. I, I, Honda is stock. Yeah, I recognize Honda has teamed with Stretch in the past and uh, yeah. done very well. Zoom coming out. Doc trying to cover a landing with an up smash, but ooh, what a nice reaction on that up smash. Yeah. K rule just saw. I don't. I said Honda was the Doc. Yeah, I'm. The... I am pretty sure. I don't know. You can just the... call him. I don't know. <laughs> Either best. way, that up smash was really nice. Saw the teammate getting jabs, up smashed, got the kill. First stock of the, the set. Everybody up at high percent, except for the person who's already lost the first stock. 150s plus all around. Good shield there, oh. recognizing that... Me sword was coming in with a dash attack. ZX unfortunately gonna hit his own teammate with the side B. This isn't something you see often. Dr. Mario at 175%. That's wild. Oh, and there he goes. Oh, there's <laughs> one of those moves though. Like, <laughs> like who would have seen that exactly, coming? <laughs> yeah, if you don't know exactly what moves they're using, how are you not gonna die to that? That's exactly what we were talking about earlier. You just gotta learn the matchup on the fly. I would have gotten hit by Yo. that, even if I knew that he had that. Oh, there's the crit. Didn't really need it, but. D did not need it at all. Oop. Some friendly fire. Me sword's still living. And. There it big is. Big croc still off stage. Alright, green team, very solid lead. Both a stock ahead. Covering on crackle slash. 
Yeah, that one hits below the ledge, so I'm pretty sure. I think it does. Okay. Mm. Green team looking for something there. I see the thought. I would have gone for it. Oh, oh no. That Charge. is an early stock. Landing right in front of Doc, just charging his smash attack. Now ZX smash in the 1v2. Hit. Probably did about 30, and they died at 87 the, after the hit. Yeah. That this is a strong attack. Climb. Oh, gosh. Live. <gasps> okay. What a weird... <laughs> I thought I was going to get out of that for sure. This one has survived a few things that were a little fishy there. <laughs> not, not necessarily fishy, but dicey. Not that it necessarily mattered. They had a full stock lead times two. So let's see. Doc hates platforms. I wonder, are they going to change characters here? Are they going to abandon the Mi Sword like they did in their first set? Are they going to keep the hero? Who knows? I always like to try and predict where someone's going to take the next game, what stage. Yeah, I think it's a way harder to do in doubles. Yeah, there's so many people who have different characters they could pick. It's a lot of variants. So I'll just wait and see what they do. Oh, okay, there's... Oh, it's, okay. It's all heroes. It is. <laughs> yeah, me... I wonder if they talked about that in... I will Dragon find Dragon. out. I have to know. There's no way that they just did it, right? There's no way. Wait, they just did it? They just did it? Yeah, they didn't talk about it at all. Three, two, one. No I way. I lupus now. <laughs> I have real autoimmune diseases now. Oh, wait, the just, colors are Just swapped. seeing this queue up. No, they did not talk about it. Both teams... Oh, no, a crit! Not gonna do much, though. Oh, oh I don't God. know who's on what team. I <laughs> All the name tags were gone there. I had no idea what was happening. Good luck getting me to commentate. On yeah, I'm good. I think I'll just go get a drink. Yeah, good call. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. <laughs> I was just complaining about Yeah, this is a nightmare. A very hard time. Oh my god. Heroes. And here I am supposed to keep track of four of them. Screw this. I'll get a beer. I'll be right back. All right, this I'll see stupid. you. <laughs> I'll do my best. So let's see. No, I'll, I'll stay with you. I, I feel bad just leaving you to this. Oh no, I'm fine. Yeah. I, we have no, we have no standards on this stream, so. All right. So a hero <laughs> fires a projectile, another hero's in his zoom, and another hero's zooming, and another one's in his. There've been a lot of crits. His menu. And... and there's been like two or three crits so far. Okay, green team has stage control. But uh, Ikusava losing all of his magic with the magic. <laughs> okay, a thwack. Someone got thwacked. I... It was ZX. Oh, and then the crit moving. Moving, which is Smuna, of course. Who's winning? Okay, looking at the character portraits at the bottom. Oh, Kaklang, and they're both fishing for Metal Slash. <laughs> Smuna and Honda are in the lead. Yep. By a stock and some change. That was funny. Kaklang activated. They both. Oh my god, another a crit! crit. crit. Wow, my God! <laughs> Alright, Smudo and Hondo win 2-0. I couldn't tell you anything that happened in that game. <laughs> I'm... Why yeah? did I sign up for this?
this, man. Why why was I pestering you? <laughs> yeah, this is what happens. In on commentary. This is what happens. We get four heroes. And I just spend the entire match babbling and in confusion. Civic says my hero different. My hero different. I I couldn't say which one you were, so yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay. Hero hero death built death. Alright, where does that put us in bracket? Uh, we're gonna stream the very next match with Hikari Kitty and Fluffy Z. Very cool. Oh, I, for I forgot to put poles up on the last tail. Whoops. Oops. I need to, because my roommate's trying to farm channel points. Because he wants to make me play a game on stream. <laughs> as far as I know, nobody's planning to make me play a terrible game on stream yet. They're just making me play games I would already be down to play, so that's fine. How much does it cost? 20, it's a fuck ton, yeah. But you can also like win the game of Mario Party, and that one's way cheaper. So I'm almost a third of the way to that. If I I know I've lost a lot of channel points at, at certain times too. Yeah, so the the eight thousand one, the VIP ticket, that's the one that lets you play Mario Party. And if you win Mario Party, you get to be VIP on the channel, and I'll play your game. Or uh... if you don't care about Mario Party, as all of my friends are like, no, we hate Mario Party. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Depends on the Mario Party. There have been some good ones. Yeah. There have been some crap ones. It's Mario Party 3. It's a good one. Oh, the good the good one. Yeah, I like 3. Like the goodest. Oh, want to be famous. One of them that everybody imagine. remembers fondly. I think there's only one that just nobody should ever touch, and that's Mario Party 10. Oh, I think I played that one. Well, is that was the one? Hot... Is that the first one that had the car? Weren't you in a car for yes, two of them? Yes, that, that was the one that had the car. I think it was the only one. Well, then what's Mario but... Party 9? <laughs> I either played 9 or 10, like, once. 9 was... No, 8 was the carnival. Yeah. Mine was... I have no idea. I, I think I might have uh, played it. Chat, help us out. I know I played nine. I have, ten was a hot crock of garbage. I have either played nine or ten exactly once. If if nine also had the car that everybody was in, I think it did. having their own game pieces, then it was a hot crock of garbage too <laughs> yeah i have strong feelings about that not played or even that. seen nine has anybody i'm not sure if mario 49 exists well maybe, maybe it's, it's like you know how like windows. I, yeah like windows and iphone right there's no iphone 9 i don't yeah. think we'll just skip nine altogether yeah maybe nintendo hopped on that trend maybe they did that's a stupid I guess trend nine, nine is the new 13 i hate that trend Depend. yeah <laughs> Me too. But I, I think it's Japan that like avoids the number thirteen. Like they don't have a thirteenth floor on certain buildings, and that might be more than one place. That yeah, might not be so I've heard about that. But that's kind of silly too. I've always thought that thought so. But it's interesting that uh, superstition can be so baked in that. Even yeah. if it's just by formality alone that people will leave off numbered floors. It's just interesting. Okay, I actually will go get that drink I was talking about um, mm -hmm. and try to be back before this game starts. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, hey, Tetra Colors. How you doing? Ready? 
there's a new um there's a new I saw it on Twitter that somebody released a new okay, who was on one team? A new like scoreboard overlay application that I wanted to check out. Because if it has good double support, I might uh I might figure it out. But anyway, here we go. So we got um, Hikari on Zelda and Fluffy on CSS. And we've seen Smuna swap over to Pac-Man. So Smuna has played a different character every game so far. You know, there have been players who have uh, challenged themselves by playing a different character each, each step in bracket. I could never be good enough for that. Nor could I. I've got too much autopilot as Ike specifically. I, I played nothing but DDD for like a year. Well, I didn't I didn't own the game, but I was going over and having like super long smash fests every week at my friend's house. And I like, they were all good because, you know, they owned the game. So to compete, I just put all my work into one character. Oh, good spike there from Honda. But now I, I play have a little bit more variety, but it was just DDD for hours straight. Then I developed a conscience, you know. What luck that you chose DDD to put all those hours into. I know. I'm attracted to bad characters, man. I just... I don't know. I like... Me too. Mike sucks. I saw a lot better in DDD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but don't worry, I have a good secondary. I play Dr. Mario. <laughs> oh, that's good. No, it's not. Together, between the two of them, uh, I think you lose every matchup in the game. That's right. <laughs> so. I'm just, I mean, I like the bad characters. It's not, I don't play them because they're bad. I just think they're fun and they just happen to be terrible, which is kind of unfortunate. Smuna's still living with every stock they started with. Not even that sour spot Zelda teleport is going to take them out. Wow! Now that one I thought for sure was going to take out the stock. Oh, nice tech. Oh, yeah, that was a bad trampoline. The only thing that could take Smuna out was Smuna. <laughs> Are we going to see the share stock? Oh, okay. The, the... Tinfoil is out. Oh, there's the restock. Ooh, no. <laughs> That's exactly what you don't do. That's horrible. Until they're dead. All right, oh. the connection seems to be stabilizing a little bit. My group of Dubs friends. That's how. You, that's how we become Dubs enemies. In oh yeah. Body, holding on to a stock until right when they're about to die in the yeah. sharing. Oh, nice try. Okay. Would have been cool. Would have killed, for sure. <laughs> I like Honda just charging random smash attacks on the side. Why not just charge it? Oh, okay, and there's the, the key. key. Spoon and Honda taking game on. I wonder if there will be a lag test for that. I don't know. Sometimes I'll stream games and it's so laggy. It's like awful the entire game. And I open up the chat because I'm like ready to go do a lag test. And then they just, nobody says anything and they just go to the next game. I'm like, oh. Um, from the player's perspective that I've gained, I can tell you it's because Sometimes lag tests feel like a coin flip on Nintendo hardware. Oh yeah, Nintendo you've told me that before. How you like never do lag tests because one time you got yourself DQ'd or something? Yeah, no, I I ordered a lag test and I got myself DQ'd against. I mean, I'll say it out loud, but it was like someone who. <laughs> it was a, a known people, lagger. A lot of people had memories of this particular person 
having a laggy con connection. Was it in this tournament or no? It was in this tournament. I know. I, I feel like I know exactly who it is. <laughs> and my connection just had one blip, but theirs didn't. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah, and, and also it's yeah. the, like, if a match is like decisive, like if I beat, if I'm playing a one v one right, and I like solidly two stock somebody, if it was just a tiny bit laggy, I'll probably still go to the next game. Like, it's fine. For sure. Yeah. You gotta just keep in mind that. It, it oh my much. God! Do you see that? I did see that. That was bad. What are you doing? Who is that? That's Floofy. Come on, Floofy Z. He just went back and he just charged an attack. Hopped on top of Doc, hit him with a down air, and then probably confirmed into an up smash or an up air or an up tilt. That, up something. That shouldn't have worked. All right, but he gets oh, a very solid edge guard and gets him right back. That sweet spot back air. So strong. I do think this wolf pick is working out despite running into a, a doc, a charged doc forward smash early. Most of the rest of it seems to be going pretty well. I do think wolf is a little, a little broken, the doves. Okay, wow, that stock for. Insinks. That stock for Hondo went so fast. He's already on his last one. And once again, Smuna still at three. Oh, and Smuna SD'd again. Smuna, wh what's going on? How are you SDing with Pac-Man? That's a great question. That's the second time in a row. They've just done the trampoline and just immediately, like, not bounced on it. There's a good roll. Recognizing that Doc was going to take care of that. Ooh, Doc's that uh, key. It's a good thing oh, that Doc's key didn't dead. stay active. But yes, even so, Doc is gone. Okay, hey, doing a good job taking advantage of... Or Wolf here has done a great job taking advantage of Doc's poor recovery. He's gotten two solid uh, edge guards on him. Yes, but with everyone on the last stock, wouldn't doubt if the edge guarding opportunities just kind of stop everybody wanting to be safe. Never mind, nope. Because there was a big attempt to just go down there and spike, spike the Pac-Man. Yeah, I, I wouldn't try to spike Pac-Man. Yeah, that's hard to do. Okay, somebody's getting ready to lose their stock here. It could have been Pac-Man, but that back air didn't work out for... Shoot, who is it? Flippy. There oh, goes. No. what happened? So they, quickly. I think they tried to neutral B in place, or sorry, Zelda tried to up B like, and appear in the same spot, but they held down and just like teleported down. <laughs> okay. Well, the game's over now. I've, I've tried the same thing, picking Zelda, and, and it's gone the same way. All right, Spoon on Honda, moving on top eight. I have to ask my buddy Jace about that, because he doesn't ever do that, really. He sometimes misses ledge when he's trying something fancy, but he never, he never quite does that uh, trying to do it in place where it'll actually send you upstage. Oh man, looks like I just missed the last match of pre-top eight. Mm. So we're waiting. So, yeah. Losers round three is going here. So a winner's side for top eight is going to be Mabel and Makos against Tetra Colors and Waji. What, Weiji? I asked him once how to pronounce his name. I forgot. That was like months ago. Um, and then Slushy and Brujo and Fantasy and Defecaz. 
Who's your side? Just Smuna and Honda so far. Let's see. The other ones going on right now are New Gen and Suspect Avocado, <laughs> a name I've not seen here before. No, must be new. I'm used to seeing New Gen and Bloomy. Yeah, that's, that's what the, I was thinking. It, that's a Pokemon trainer and Duck Hunt team. I wonder who Suspect plays. Rose and Shimmers is now that's yeah they there's play. There's a Rose every that week. sometimes yeah joins, and then there's a Rose that sometimes joins. right like right. Rose and um, Power Seven or whatever. Yeah, I think Rose Power plays 13. Joker and someone else. But Rose, I don't actually remember. I can't remember Rose and Shimmers off the top of my Rose head. Rose and Shimmers. But I... that set is 1-1, one, one, as well as the set between Hilly and Joda versus Dartok and Fluffy. Who just beat Dalton Plays and Snacks, which was a team that came up and top aided in one of the, the larger tournaments a few weeks Yeah, ago. they did really well. They do Ike and Villager. Um, and so they did, they... they got top eight like the next week too, so they had back to back. So a couple of top eights into... I kind of like to see that happen because it means the, the tournament is competitive. You know? Yeah, I'm actually, I'm surprised because this is such a small bracket, but a lot of these teams are like teams that I know. Which makes it interesting. There are some weeks where it's like, there will be like one team that I've heard of signs up and everyone else is just people I've never seen before. Oh, Tetra Course says it's Waji. Okay, I was right. Maybe. Wait, wait I was right but that time. still doesn't tell us if that's Wagi or Waji. Is it like... No, that's Waji for sure. You can pronounce it like, with a G sound for e a J. Or... Wagui. Well, I, think, I, I think it's Wagui. <laughs> I typed that out using Spanish pronunciation rules. Like, I'll just get people's names wrong all the time. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Wagui. Wagui. No, no, Wagui. Wagui. Okay, <laughs> you say oh geez. I don't know. Does that not say oh geez? <laughs> I'm kidding. At this point. If you said geez to me, I don't know. Like, <laughs> hey, what would you do if someone just in person was like oh geez? Would you correct them, do you oh, think? Oh geez. I don't know if I would. I would just. <laughs> I think I wouldn't even know what they were trying to say. I would give them like a weird look. Okay, it looks like Hilly and Joe to be are going to be moving on to top eight in their set. A good stuff to them. Let's see. Gotta refresh. Sometimes Smash GG doesn't update yeah, it's slow. that quickly, and you gotta refresh. Yeah, now I'm seeing that. Slushy. I'm trying to think. I, I I feel like I've seen that name before. Like there might be a Yoshime named Slushy. I'm not sure. He's played. He's DK, or at least he played DK when he got top eight. Yeah. Either way, you know it's no slouch player that it takes to beat. Evil Goku and Army Oli. Yeah. So I'd be very interested to see where their run in top eight brings them. Mabel and Mekos. I don't think I've seen them team before. I've seen each of them in this tournament. I can't remember who Mekos teamed with the first before. time I saw him. He hasn't entered in a long time, Mekos, I don't think. Tell you what though, Lucas, 
is an underrated character. Oh, Lucas. Okay. Yeah. I agree. I think uh, Lucas is good. Yeah. Lucas is maybe not super good, but there are people who think that that character is low tier. That and surprises that's me. Just like they've never seen a good one play ever. He doesn't really have any like. He, he's just like a solid character. I feel like. Yeah, he's got a, a bunch of uh, multi hits and otherwise strong moves that uh, just don't have lag. Some of them cover options scary well, like that the down smash. There's no reason not to try and down smash at ledge. Because nobody's going to punish you for it. It has no lag. And he's got a lot of sauce in in moves that pop up that he can, you know, then down air people into the ground and start a check tech chase with. If they don't tech, you know, he can get down to the ground and down tilt and forward smash. And, you know, there's just a lot of sauce in that character and a lot of safety. I know he's got some crazy stuff that he can do with, um, like, Zare over and over. Yeah, there's that too. And in doubles, he can pretty freely spam PK freeze as long as his teammate is, I don't know, just well in tune with where that PK freeze is going to go. All right, I'm going to be right back. Take a little break before top eight starts. Okay. I'll sit here and tell jokes or something. I don't have any jokes. Actually, no, I got one. There was a contest to see what was the best formal dress accessory in the world. It ended up being a tie. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and drink. <clears throat> Not really. Let's see. Has the other set between New Gen and Suspect versus Rose and Shimmers reached a conclusion yet? Um, refreshing bracket. Has not yet. It's a long set going uh, over 24 minutes. And they had started at zero minutes. Now, I'm, I'm trying to remember. I think Nugen was the the duck hunt. Nope, there it goes. It just reported Rose and Shimmers won. So, the first game in the top half of Losers Top Eight will be Smuna and Honda versus Rose and Shimmers. And Evo Goku and Army just also won their set. Oh, are, are we good to go on much top eight, then? Set. Yeah. Awesome. Evo Goku and Army just won their set in about eight minutes or less. Um, yeah, it was real quick. Huncho. That was the fastest set, I think, because that, that part of the bracket was about to be waited on for a while. But then each of the other games took a long time, and that one just... Boom, suddenly done. About as fast as you can ever have a dub set finished with. So, All right. we go into top eight. Yeah, I just clicked start. Uh, which set should we watch in Winner's Side? Um, well, we haven't seen... We've seen one or two sets with one of these teams. Yeah, so we saw Fantasy. I would Fantasy. like to see more of them, but if we're trying to not see more of the same and see someone else we haven't gone from the top side of the bracket so maybe mabel and makos versus yeah sure let's do that well i cannot there we go so i i will be secretly hoping that we see more of uh fantasy yeah me too i i really liked the um i really liked their gameplay yeah there's just a, a few things they kept doing in the right way a few plays that they made that, that just really swung things and I don't know I'd like to see if they can keep those kind of clutch situation plays going because it was fun to see yeah 
Hilly and Jota are usually seeded pretty well in, in this tournament, so um, beating them earlier on in the bracket is, uh, is as far as seeding is concerned, an upset. Yeah, I've been meaning to, um, I talked about with one of the moderators, throwing together like a program that I could create like a like a power ranking for this tournament. I think that would be a lot of fun. Ooh, that'd be neat. Would it be by team or by individual? I think I would do it probably individually, because there's a lot of people that team with like different people a lot. Yeah. So I would probably want to do it individually. Like I'd Mabel, for example. Mabel at the very top. Because like like Mabel teams with like Rush, like fifty percent of the time, and then just other people. Usually someone different every yeah. time. Yeah, I think Mabel would probably yeah. be up at the top. Mabel and Rush together. Or I think Mabel's there. only lost once, like <laughs> one of these tournaments. Oh really? Well, I could be wrong about that. There was one time where he did not do well. Um, um, I I can tell you of one time that he got second, or they got second place. I believe Mabel goes by they, them. Um, oh. But I, I can tell you of one time Mabel got second place. I don't know of any time Mabel has done poorly, but I do know of one time Mabel oh, yeah. got second place. Oh, yeah, I see place, it, because you guys got first. Was, yes, exactly. That was the first time Cheeks and I won. That was a fun I still of remember Cheeks and I had the lead, but like Mabel buffered an option in the SD. And as soon as that happened, Cheeks said out loud on voice chat to me, That's it, that's the tournament. We won. <laughs> I like that tournament so a lot. That one was fun. Because, uh, really. I'm, I'm the guy who says all of Ike's matchups are even. They're volatile even. That's just it. That's all of them. Except for a few that he loses and, like, a couple he wins. And Doc is one of the very few that I'll just say, yeah, Ike wins. Oh, yeah? Because I would think, I yeah. don't know. I would think, like, just one pill could kind of just snipe you and ruin your day. It can. It can, especially if you lose your jump. Yeah. But... Otherwise, I should just win that matchup. The end, you know. But um, in that set, I was like, that was when Cheeks was Palu at the time, yeah. and I feel like both of those characters dump on Doc. So the fact that it was as close as it was, yeah, Mabel's that nutty. Alone speaks to yeah, and I mean, Ma Mabel's gotten so many top eights at like the high-profile tournaments during the quarantine era. Interested in seeing what Mabel could do in offline majors, A-tiers, and, and the like. Uh, there's a really good doc in my local scene I'm hoping to see. Maybe learn a thing or two from. His name's uh, Bacon, capital N. He's like one of Bacon. the like top docs. Okay, yeah, I've actually seen Maple rock the tag for Bacon, yeah. so I guess that's a kinship between the two there. Alright, so everybody's just about settled in. Maple just needs to hop in the tournament. I don't know if I could ever. I I I never thought that I would be a someone who played Doctor Mario because I think I said this once when I was trying to like find a main and I was like, they have to have a good recovery <laughs> and at least one projectile. That was, <laughs> that was my list, and here I am with Doctor Mario. Well, Phil is Phil is not a bad. Projectile. He has a projectile, nice. but the recovery thing. I actually think Pill is pretty good online, and, and oh, Doc Pill's, is Pill's great. Doc is generally actually good in doubles, despite oh, being yeah. so bad in singles. He is much much better in doubles. Okay, so Tetra Colors go on the normal pit pick, rocking that pit as normal. 
and Waji a Ridley. I feel like, gosh, Ridley probably, Ridley probably dunks on Doc usually, I don't know, if I had to guess. Ugh, Ridley's a nightmare to heavy. fit on the top eight graphics. What a pain. <laughs> His head is so That's long. Funny. Oh, Mabel. Going off stage to cover Doc. Okay. Had the as jump. As much as possible. Okay, there's Took the first a few Doc tries, the but, Yeah, finally got that. Uh, just covered the neutral get up with back air and took it out. Mabel had taken enough damage that that was just it. Let's see. I think in order to succeed against Pitt and Ridley. We're gonna have to see Makos do a lot of covering for Mabel offstage. That that oh, could be good a stop. Tech. Nope. Very brave to to go back off stage again as Doc trying to cover Ridley. Ridley off stage and probably out of jumps. Makos well, okay. does choose what? It didn't knock him okay. back. It doesn't matter. He was at 180. Does that happen when he does the fire? Like, I know that he has, like, a little animation when you hit him out of his plasma breath. But I didn't know that he I've could cancel knockback. Mako's holding on to that first stock and, and uh, slowly making up that percent def deficit. Oh, very nice up smash, oh, catching both of them. Extended hitbox. Those can be killer and dubs. Uh oh. Okay. Narrowly avoiding that pill. Ridley actually fairly easy to gimp even though he has wings. Because he can only recover a straight line. Black Dragon says, yeah, hitting his mouth as he winds up makes him do that. I guess I didn't know that it like, got rid of knockback. But I guess it makes sense. Because he doesn't go anywhere. So he, he got hit by a smash attack at 180. Okay, Mabel out of stocks, and there's the restock gonna need to see this Ridley stock closed out mm. ASAP. Oh, there it is. Uh, it, okay, it, even yeah, game. There it goes. Doc with the kill power, getting it done. What's the punish? Ooh, okay. gets interrupted by Makos. I don't know. Um, he's like 22% there. Oh, man. Pill into down B. Yes. PK freeze? That was gonna a live. lot of damage. Now there's stage control. Makos again. Uh oh, Mabel in trouble. No jump there. Mabel Mabel's toast. And 40% yeah. is not what you want to be seeing. What happened there was Mabel tried to air dodge past the arrow, but that dodge button was pressed just too late from an online player's perspective <laughs> who still thought they had time to air dodge. But the arrow hit, the air dodge came out. Alright, Mako's here putting in work, trying to win this 1v2. Oh! But the down air into up smash, confirmed from Tetra. Very nice. Game 1 narrowly going to yellow team. I do think for um, Mabel and Mako's, if, they, if they're going to win, they've got to... They've got to be very sure of their offstage interactions, and if things start going south for Doc, Lucas has to be there. Because between those fireballs from Ridley and both of those characters having multiple jumps and multi-hit aerials, if Doc is offstage, that's immediate danger zone. Yeah, I'm, he, I noticed he, he lost the one stock at like 40. I didn't catch what percents he lost his other stocks at, but Mabel was losing him a little early. Whoops. Dropping out over and over. They love doing that. Get these colors going. 
I am appreciating the color. I know y'all talk about the color coordination. Yeah, because it's good. But it's important. It's so important. It looks good when they got the matching, they roll up with the matching colors. It's just, oh. Mm -hmm. And I'm appreciating that with yellow team, especially right here. Well, Mabel was purple, but Mabel just likes changing colors. Uh, they'll change colors like every game. Yeah, I've noticed that as a matter of fact. Yeah, I don't know why they do it. It could be to create contrast between the character model and the, the stage they're choosing. But they, this is the same stage that they picked last game. You're right. I think they just like the different, I don't know. They just like to slot around. Ooh, Perry, and knowing that that board smash is actually going to hit, that was pretty devastating there. Ridley already up at 100 plus. Oh man, the down throw wow. up B coming out from Mabel. Great work. I think that down throw hit a collateral and sent them both into the range of that up B. Big play there. I think that's Doc's only like collateral throw that he can do. It's really nice to have those like hitboxes on throws. It's something you never have to worry about in singles ever. So, like, a lot of people just don't have knowledge of which attacks have, uh, like, hurt boxes. Oh, very nice back air coming up from Mabel there, very securing good. the kill. Okay, blue team with the stage control right now. Let's see. I'm gonna keep trying to put pressure on Ridley. It's always interesting to see what players prioritize um, in dubs. Are they going to try to keep one off stage or go and yeah help help their teammate? The other? And like it's such a dynamic. Uh, okay. Game. Wow. Blue team Reading picking up two sign. kills. Okay. F tilt gonna take out Mabel. Now blue just two fresh stocks ahead right now. For me, that depend that decision just depends on which character. Oh, okay. Mabel almost had a nutty player there. Saw that. Yeah, the down that throw reverse good... up there. I see that all the time on Mabel's Twitter. A dash back. I I have not figured out that one with Doc yet. I haven't tried it, but I see Mabel post that all the time on their Twitter. But for me, it depends on the character's recovery in dubs. If I knock him off stage. Oh, uh, Mabel the noticing the re-grab. Pretty nice down air. Tetra Colors now in the 1v2. Gonna take a stick right to the kneecaps, uh, even up the set. Game 2, very decisive. Yeah, that was uh, very different than Game 1. I was here saying that the key would be necessarily uh, Doc trying not to go too much off stage, but pretty sure there were at least a couple of kills of where Mabel went off stage. Proved me wrong, knowing more about the character than me. Or, yeah, or like a lot of the, limits at the very least. A Good lot thing. of the thing with Doc is like when you're fighting Doc, you expect him to try to stay on stage. So it's kind of a surprise when he does something that risky. I guess someone knowing the limits of their character better than someone doing guest commentary, <laughs> you know, that's what that's what makes someone the best in their field. Right? Everyone in this set I know he usually picks the same character. I wouldn't expect any switches, though I don't know much about Waji. No. That's the one question mark in terms of could we see a switch? Please change teams. Is the quick chat hmm? being thrown out? Oh, they want to be next to each other. <laughs> I understand. Oh, I get that. 
I was watching and those the the offline dubs at Infinity Con, and they weren't doing that. Like they had the the team colors like staggered at the bottom. I was like, what? Like, you guys can't plug in your controllers to the right ports? I guess it's not ports anymore, but it's yeah, just in the right like still, order. it's just nicer. <laughs> it is also easier on, I guess on commentary. Yeah, because <laughs> it's easier to still look and see who's winning. Okay. <laughs> Do you know that when Ridley, uh, this happened to Saturday, when Ridley lands his down B and doubles, it still like does the whole zoom in, even though there's four players. Yeah. It's very distracting. As, like Cloud's limit moves and... But Cloud's only doesn't certain... zoom in. I mean, maybe his down B does. No, I, I think the side B sometimes does. Well, in singles, but in doubles it just turns the screen blue. It won't zoom in. Rid Ridley's will be like, hey, look at this now. <laughs> wow. Uh, I, I learned something new today. Um, Ridley's side B has a continuous hitbox along the ground. Oh, yeah. I'm, I know about it. I got a buddy who plays Ridley in doubles a lot. He can just, like, you just hit everybody on the stage of that because no one's ready for it. Oh, I noticed the swap over to Dark Pit just now. Oh, I didn't because that's the same exact character as <laughs> one move. Well, two moves. The side B is a little different. What's the other one? Because I was talking about side B. Oh, neutral B. Dark Pits is stronger, uh, but you can't. You can not control it as much at all. Like, Pit can do, like, the big, like, Pit can move wherever he wants, and it looks like he's got, like, auto-aim on. Spike. Yeah, nice back air. Dark Pit, you can just very time. slightly tilt it, like, a little bit, but it does way more percent on Actually, actually did not know that. Yeah. And I might have them both in Elite. I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, it's whatever. I don't know which one I prefer. never thought about either of those characters. Enough, enough <laughs> what do you what do you think about Fit and Dark Fit? I don't. <laughs> Precisely. I do not. Well Mako's is really going inside on PK Fire right now. I was about to to call that out, say, boy we've really reached a PK Fire heavy part of the set. Oh there's the back throw, okay. Blue team I'm ahead guessing, right now, but still very close if they can get these stocks. I'm guessing there becomes a certain percent where it, it is actual kill percent for PK fire, especially with rage. Yeah. That might have been what we were seeing. Not good DI on that forward smash, but still living. Uh oh, good maybe. DI on that back air, though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know, because right now it's definitely not PK fire kill percent, but... Catching. Yep, that was actually a very good dash attack. Mm -hmm. I think, um... I think Waji knew that there was PK fire or some other projectile coming out. And I sometimes do that as Ike, because the, the dash attack just reaches far enough. Yeah, Ike's dash attack is awesome. Catch I love someone. his. Yeah. You can sometimes catch someone doing something that takes just a few frames too long. Hey, like everyone a, a... on their last stock now. Yellow team in Dire Straits, both above 100% right now. Blue team, especially Mako, is still sitting pretty. Oh no, that Man. was questionable DI. <laughs> it hmm. wasn't even that bad. That was still a lot of just Doc's forward smash being strong. Alright, and with that F tilt, Mabel and Mako will be taking the set and we'll be moving on. Now, if that were a set going to uh, best of five instead of best of three, yeah, I would have said, look out, look out next game for people perhaps taking a little bit longer on ledge because I noticed a lot of options being covered uh, very early and a lot of people going into those options. But as this is not a five game set, the people who covered those options better and faster and more are going on. 
that sends them into winner's finals to meet Slushy V1 and Brujo, who 2 owed Fantasy and Deficus. Wow. I wonder if we'll be playing the heavy team again. Because I want to say they mixed it up whenever I... They played K. Rule and DK. But they switched it up a few times, I think, when I was streaming them the last time they were on. We're about to see what they do in the in winners finals, very least. Here they come with the Funky Kong PFB. Gotta love it. I think they both have it. Last time they had like some like, I think they both had Funky Kong and they had like matching like usernames. <laughs> I can't remember what they were. That's actually really annoying. <laughs> I love it. So we're we about to see a second justice. Well, no, they weren't like the same name. No, nope. okay, for Slinky. For Slinky, we got a cranky. But, I uh, like. I think right one now, of one of them was a, one of them was adapt, and the other one was overcome, or something like that. Uh, Just real, real cheesy. <laughs> wow, actually, I feel like there's two players uh, at some locals that. Uh, used to happen before the pandemic that used very similar tags I'm trying to remember who what if it's them no it's not is it i have no <laughs> idea <laughs> could be is that why the tag slushly is familiar they're from where i am from imagine being in this ring and not having a donkey kong uh, smash online profile picture for real. Looking at you, Mr. T.O. Well, I'm not in the ring. I'm outside. <laughs> also, it's nice to see Mabel actually using their tag. All the time, Mabel will just have, like, meme names. I'm kind of a tag purist. Like, I'm never gonna... I just always use my name. Like, you won't catch me yeah, rocking a just... for this person tag or anything. Yeah, I've always just used scowl and four scowl. Or no, not four scowl. Uh, scowl <laughs> and five foot seven scowl. I used scowl at the locals. And then when I was mostly playing just like quick play more than anything else, it was all five foot seven scowl. But then I, I just shortened it back to scowl. Does that fit like in Smash? It does. Uh, if you use, if you don't spell out the word five though, ah. you have to use the number five. Which is what I wanted for my original, like, tag, actually, but one of the console, like, networks didn't allow you to start a oh. tag with a, a number. You had to start it with a letter. So I just spelled out the five. That was that. Yeah, limitations like that are such a bummer. Yeah. I always meant for my tag to start out with the number five instead of the word five. But here we are. Now, so far, the Super Heavies are losing neutral a little bit more often than not. Uh, surprise. Oh, man! The one back air taking out Mabel at 30%. That sucks. What a spectacular coverage. Just saying, Mabel might spot dodge here. Or, uh, yeah. air dodge to the left here. That's exactly what happened. It's a beautiful spike. Mabel already taking 60% stock so, there it goes Donkey Kong's first now Megos needs to hold on to that stock a good attempt at a second spike Megos turn around help your buddy oh okay just uh unfortunately rolling right into the DK smash attack Mabel wow. already on it on their last stock down throw, run forward, up smash. Barely caught them. You don't see that option much. Good 
Just wait there by Mabel. Recognize that there was a second jump coming out. Oh man, okay. This, I tell you what, this is a, this has got to be a, a K rule main. <laughs> We're just hitting confirms that, you know, them, them summer K rules <laughs> just don't go for so much. Good back air there by Mabel. Closing out Donkey Kong's next stock. I'm awful against K rule. I'll lose to any, any level of K rule. Just the little, the thing where they do like the suck neutral B on a platform and drop down, it gets me every time. My little monkey brain can't figure out how to get by it. <laughs> yeah, just play, play a big long sword. Yeah, Jump I'm sure that would help. Now, this game is very likely to go to the team. Oh no, Mabel just SD'd completely trying to edge guard. Donkey Kong. I'm not even sure how that one happened. I don't think it could be blamed on a on a buffer. Yeah, I have no idea. I was not watching. However, if Mikos closes out one of these stocks, there is still a chance. Oh, for sure. They haven't landed a hit on Mikos yet. Well, I guess they, they hit him on the crown when he was recovering once. There we go. A little slap. Oh, I, yeah, I would not want to be DK in that situation right there. I guess really she's moving right now. Moving out of stage, but Oof. just like that, came back. Good, smart, safe recovery. A forward smash that sends the super heavy almost nowhere. Oh, that throw would have been it. That backer could have been it, but Whoa, I think okay. the crown actually saved him the way that it modified the knockback. Now this is probably a jump yeah, up. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Good DI recognizing. <laughs> what is this? Oh, okay, um, but nice there. You know, most characters would have had a hell of a time yeah, getting that, through that. That was an intimidating ledge trap. Dash attack, not quite gonna do it. The soft hit. I I figured even the soft hit would have, but... DK up to 170 Mika. right now. Mikos really has to close this. Whoa! Yeah. Okay, gonna launch back towards the stage. The F tilt gonna That'll take it. it. We got the 1v1 now. Ooh, didn't DI that. Still alive, Whoa. though. 160 for Kiro, 170 for Mako on Lucas. Uh, you don't have a crown anymore. You're running out of chances. Nice tech. That. You did? The propeller hitting a mile through the stage. Oh, that's it? And that's it? All right. Holy cow. Crazy close first game. By the skin of K. Rule's teeth. The super heavies take. Man, I got to say, he was so lucky that that propeller hit. I mean, I guess it's not luck, but... <laughs> it, it did make the difference, that propeller. Lucas was so far on there. stage, I wouldn't have thought he would get hit there. I mean, Magos was moving, and there was not much that those two slow characters could have done about it against such a safe character. A safe and, and at times unpredictable character. Because Lucas could do so many things. He could retreat with a PK fire, and they'd have to respect it. He'd all, he could also just nair forward, or forward or forward and they'd have to respect it. Unless they're going for a risky big read. Which at the percents they were at, they probably just didn't want to or didn't feel comfortable to. I like that. I was kind of rooting for both teams there. Yeah, that was a good I love match. when I'm rooting for both teams. They're, they The matches get so fun. Gotta fix the order. 
All right, back to Pink Doc here. Not back to, I guess, who's playing, or they were doing purple before. Back on PS2. Uh, if I were a red team, I would say maybe just have Mabel play a lot safer this game. Because Mabel is out so early. Mako's was playing solo for so long. It did take a while, but I don't know if it's necessarily that Mabel was out just that early, so much as Mako's was able to prolong the 1v2. So, yeah, there we go. I was just about to say, Mabel spin off stage for a minute. Wow. Nice Jumped kill with that dodge. down smash. That's a good lead for blue. Oh, the down throw down B. Uh, DK. Does kill. Yeah, DK not going to DI the down throw correctly there. Yeah. For Doc having no rage and DK only being around 100. Yeah, that's kind of surprising. That pretty early. Mabel taking a lot of damage. Yeah, those up, oh those up bears hurt! Oh no! We're gonna roll right into that DKF smash. Both North's red team able to get past the ledge trap. Great back air there from DK. Can't remember who's who. I can check, I guess. Okay, Brujo is K rule. Slushy is DK. Ah, Mabel was very intent on taking that stock off of K. Rool, um, but a tech saved K. Rool's life, and when K. Rool made it back to stage first, spell <gasps> doom. <laughs> okay, finally there goes K. Rool. Oh, 200% there. Oh, pill into up B from Mabel. A very nice confirm there. Getting it closer to even out the game. Oof. Well, Nikos didn't die, and he was already at a decent percent. So not too much loss there. Just trying to put out any hitbox possible. Oh man, okay. Almost dying, Good dash tech in the cannonball. Red team has pulled ahead in stocks though. Oh, but not for long. Mako's turning right into that cannonball. Even game right now, pretty much dead even. Very even game. Mabel, wow. Finding the up B. That was a brave thing to do. I, I sometimes do the same as Ike, acting like I'm out of options, but then having that one more hitbox I can throw out on the way down in the form of up B. At that point, it caught DK dropping shield. And with DK being at a high percent and Doc having range, rage, just killed. Okay, so let's see how uh, K rule is going to do in the 1v1, 1v2. I actually support that uh, throwing throwing backward away from Doc, just in case anything bad oh. could happen. And Mabel slips off the edge. Yep, Mabel Mabel jumped and side beat. I think it was supposed to be a be a reverse pill. Hmm. That's my guess. Oh. Dead. Wow! I can't believe that that game ended that way. It's so easy to do that with Doc, though. Like, having a bad recovery, it's like, it's not just, oh, you might not make it back to the stage. It's so easy to kill yourself. Like, especially like, online, one buffered air dodge with Doc, and you're dead. Wolf laser, you try to, you shield it a second too late, you get air dodged, you're dead at zero.
Well. All right, the run back again. The ways that Red Team is going to have to bring this back include no SDs yep. and a bit more tighter uh, just team play, freeing each other out of... Uh, oh, I think this was not supposed to be the stage. That <laughs> well, this picked. is PS1, so... This is PS1. <laughs> So, just a little bit more coverage and confirms off of the non-super heavies. Because at this point, they're just having to win neutral so many more times to take a game, only to get, you know, K rule down smashed at 70 or whatever and lose the game. Yeah. Or, you know, heaven forbid you don't even get Carol down smashed and you just flub one input or buffer one air dodge and it swings the game out of your favor. So, I think those are the sorts of things we've got to see from Red Team for them to be able to uh, get back into the set. The K rule suck cannon is so good just to throw out in doubles. It's just like, I do the same thing with TDD, I just spam inhale in doubles. Cause like, you know, you got, okay, early kill on Mabel, again. There it goes, there's that, that down smash. Oh man, Mabel firing right back, but K rule gonna live. But anyway, like, if you, you got a much higher chance to suck someone on the enemy team, and then boom, that's a lot of damage. And if you suck your teammate, there's still a good chance that you will launch them into the enemy. Oh no, Mabel's, Mabel's gonna be dead. Mabel's dead. That's a big play, that was an early stock. Yeah. And, you know, once again, it was Mabel being caught off stage and Mako's not being able to help. That is still just the difference maker in this set right now. More than anything else. Okay, here's the first stock off DK. Mabel seems to be playing a little faster and, I don't know, almost as if uh, a little jolt of caffeine went through their veins. Oh, let's see Good what happens off this throw. Oh, okay. I was expecting a forward throw there. I don't know why. I guess I was looking at the percents. But gonna you know, be the back throw. did a really good job to wait out that down smash, recognizing that it was happening, and then getting the back throw for the kill. But Justice, uh, the DK, I forget which player Yeah, me is, too. It's whatever. I give up. Just, just DK. Yeah, they were just right there. And and that's, again, that's the difference maker. Covering the, the doubles options. It was a good reaction. He was like, right he was like, all right, K rolls dead, but at least I can get this kill here. Because you got to decide if you want to hit both of them out of the throw or just wait and get the punish. Ooh, Mabel in the one v two here, going way low. It's good time, Mark. We got taunts coming out. And oh no, that is not the throw that TK was expecting. <laughs> taunt to body your teammate. If it were an up throw, it would have worked. Or down throw. Or down throw. Oh, okay, throw. looking for a little sauce there, not gonna find it. 
On K rule, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get that dock right off. Okay, my one v one. Well, see now there's a chance. Ah, uh, yeah. DK really should have stood back and K rule taken mm -hmm. the, the the point there. Oh, but that cannonball will hit, and it'll be Slushy and Brujo taking it three zero. Slushy. And uh, yeah, oh, Honda. Sorry, I'm ready for you now, Honda. So in the meanwhile, in loser's bracket, we've had Evil Goku and ARMY beating Hilly and Jota 2-0, then Tetracolors and Waji 2-1, We've got Smuna and Honda advancing over Rose and Shimmer's 2-0 and Fantasy and Defica's 2-0. So after Fantasy and Defica's made it uh, in such cool fashion up to uh, winner's top eight, they didn't take a single game after that. They oh, lost 2-0 in winners and lost 2-0 again in losers. I wanted to see him again. I did too. Oh no, I forgot didn't. to collect top eight characters. <laughs> Whoops. Dear. I'll see if I can find them. Well, we've seen several of them. Yeah, we've seen most not. people. The only ones we have not seen on stream are Evil Goku and Army. Which we're about to. And Rose and Shimmers. Okay. And I, we're about to see Evil Goku and Army. There's like a million roses in the Discord, but I might be able to find them. Alright, prediction is up. Oh, now that I'm actually paying attention, I, I think I'll put some stream points forward. Oh yeah, who you got this game? Uh, I'm voting local. Yeah. Army. Army is local for me. I just, I could never put my points on Evil Goku. I just don't like him. Sorry Evil Goku if you're watching. <laughs> I, I still only have the one um, impression of Evil Goku, and that's when yeah he held the right side of the stage for 46 seconds. Yeah, I remember. Jason and I had the, <laughs> the stock leads. And he's got the second count memorized. <sighs> Evil Goku, you I ask remember, for the stream I'm link. Sure it was 46. He asks for you for the stream link every single time. It's always in the same spot, man. I guess I have to stop talking about it now because he's showing up to the stream. Yeah. But there are some people that just have so much trouble finding information. Not, not even talking about him anymore. Just like, like there will be people just asking such basic questions. They'll, they'll DM me all the time asking like super basic stuff. It's like, I don't know. Like what time does it start? Well, I don't know. Have you looked on the page where it says where it starts? Yeah. The giant header that says every Thursday at 7 p.m. I don't know. People don't like reading, man. No, they don't. The one thing that people do ask a lot that is fair is that when does it start being best of five? And I think that's on Smash TG for yeah. not displaying it better. You can tell if you look at a set, um, or I guess when you're in a set, like this one's best of five, and I can see report game one, report game two, report game three. Right. Because it always shows the minimum number of games. So long as you have access to the bracket chat, where did Army go? I don't know. Oh, hey, Perfect. Slushy. Very nice gameplay. Indeed, very nice gameplay. They're back. There they are. All right, let me see if I can find Rose and Shimmers. Are we playing the snake? Yeah, there are four roses in the Discord. <laughs> are we playing the snake? That's a curry character. Okay. 
at least once in this set, we're going to see a C4 planted on Kirby and detonated with Kirby doing an up throw. They're going for it already. Look at that. <laughs> They're already going for it. Oh, some very exciting music here. The very I I said at some point in the set, but the very first thing we saw in the set was Army plant a C4 on Kirby. Yeah, the the up throw, good stuff. I hope we see it. The actual like combo, I mean. And brawl strats. Ooh, double downer. No, nope, oh, no it could it could have had it. Oh, Goku's Wait. dead. One two zero. Goku's dead. Yeah. I I think he bumpered an air dodge. I'm not sure. Gonna F smash his partner as soon as he gets down, too. Well, now we're gonna have to see that C4 trick play out because uh, they're already at a two stock deficit less than a minute in. Oh, yep, he's dead. Oh, great save. Love to see that because um, Honda was super dead there. So far, none of the explosives set out as traps or interceptors or anything have worked out for the oh. team. <laughs> when you get hit by Flare Blitz, but still manage to kill Charizard. Some quick damage on. Okay. To make the game just about even, but then Kirby just dies. Oh, my team colors are not right. Hold on. All right. Evo Goku nearly got himself killed again. <laughs> like he he almost dies at 16%, and he's like, I'll do it again. <laughs> Good punish, board smashing, docks. Whiffed forward smash. Let's see, what are we gonna do about Charizard having that extra stock out there? Okay. Very well, nice. We're just gonna let his partner kill him. <laughs> yeah. That's what we'll do. Oh, see ya. The suck and the cuck. Okay. Just like that. I think we might be seeing a swap from Honda next game. I know Honda's got a few other characters I've seen him play. Oh. It's on Dude, his forehead. Comes the G's. No, not what they Oh, wanted. PT can now it's swap stuck on and snake. get rid of it. It's not on Snake, it's on the ground. Oh, it is. okay, I didn't see it. Yeah, I PT it can fun. drop it by swapping. And, uh, yeah. Inhale. Uh -huh. Okay. Doing what Evil Goku does. He sure is. Let's see, maybe somebody who streams played Rose and Shimmers. Well, Swoon and Honda did. Maybe I can ask them after this set if they remember. Are you yipping our commentary, Chris? I, I don't know what to say. When you watch Kirby do that, like, it's just like, okay. <laughs> yep. That's just... I don't know. Watching Kirby do that is just as sure as opening oh, your beer yeah. and taking the first sip in the alley if you're one of the guys on uh, King of the Hill. Just... <laughs> yep. Yeah, yep. Oh, what was that? Okay. I think I saw all the same characters. Yeah. But now in red. Three, two, okay. 
Kalos. Kalos? Kalos? I don't know. Every Always every week counts. I can't I don't know how to say it, and every week I say, Oh, I bet they say it in the Pokemon TV show. I can just go find out. So I'm not sure if you saw there, but uh Army and Goku started the game out the same way. I like planting it. Planting a C4 onto Kirby. No, I'm excited for that. Get like I think grab. that's that's good stuff. Yeah. Them, them old ball brawl strats. For those old enough as I or old as I am. Jeez, I can't talk. I only started doing like playing competitively in this game. Uh probably the best time to start playing competitively, actually. The other one sucked. <laughs> I mean I played a lot of for glory in Smash 4, but I was only doing casual stuff in melee and brawl. Wonderful. Punish on the flare blitz. Okay, just held that forward smash what? and it worked. Yeah, I mean, as Snake, how many how many ways are you gonna protect yourself coming back off stage once your your teammate Kirby swallows you and spits you off stage? Yeah, you're put into such a horrible position off stage at that point. There's a meme of you know Snake not having a disadvantage, but where a grenade can't help him, nothing can. You know. I hate Snake. Ugh. Nothing, nothing makes me There's happier than seeing Snake lose. Snake is kind of BS. Doc's still living at 141. Oh, okay. Doc getting forward smashed by his own teammate in the back of the head. Speaks to how stupid Kallus is at a stage that Kirby survived that full rage Doc back to 140. Yeah, it's crazy. We still got him trying to come back on stage. Was protected by his teammate, came up and inhaled him and died. Kirby with grenades, huh? Such is the chaos of doubles. I don't think Evil Goku wants powers, though. If he has a copy ability, then he can't suck and cuck. Wow, you're right. Big, big read from uh, Army over there. Off stage, comes back forward tilts. Still safe, but I guess when you've got Kirby as a teammate, there's not a whole lot of help coming your way, just because of the, the poor aerial speed. Kirby has. So right now we're gonna look to to getting rid of this dog stock so that PT can't share it. Yeah, I think PT would be much better suited for a uh, uh, a one v two here if it comes to that. Absolutely would. And it looks like and that's goes, but... probably what we'll see. Doc still had the stock, so the share stock was available. So, most likely, if there's oh, a one okay. two, yep, Give a go -go it's the catching, better uh, suited for it. Catching Honda with the up smash. Any stray hit can kill Evil Goku here. Uh oh, oh, it's fine. Yeah, there go there's it off. the C4. It's on the ground now. Army's probably gonna yeah detonate it as soon as possible because they are going to look for the cheesiest finish possible when they're both at kill percent. C4's on the ground on the right. C. Not detonating it. Wait, are you sure? I'll, oh, yeah. I couldn't, I yeah, couldn't find it. Was. Up smash. Kalos gonna Ooh. let him live. Ooh, this is turning high intensity. Watch out for that back air. Nope. Oh, oh both of them gonna live? If that was Meta Knight's up throw, army would be dead. Oh, is his really strong like that? Yeah, the collateral kills people. It's dummy early. Good recognition by Army, knowing that the breakout was going to put Charizard on that side there. Oh, he actually Everyone almost died right there to his own yeah. grenade. He went so high. Everyone's at stray hit death percent right now. 
Well, okay. Oh, where is... Okay, this... He could have just up tilted right after that smash, I think. Oh! Was it on the platform? It was. I didn't it see was. it. Alright, O2. That C4 was invisible to everyone but ARMY. Yeah, I could not see that one at all. Nice done. So after being behind in each of these games, Army and Evil Goku have pulled out a a close, just scraping by victory. And they really haven't gotten any of their uh, super cheesy attempts at stocks to work out. No, I, I kind of want to see the, uh, the really throw one. To. Me too. I mean, that stuff kills at zero and lets the teammate live. It's dumb. Nice little cameo from Aaron there. Oh, she wasn't on stream though. I was gonna say what? I have no idea what uh, you're talking about. Was, one of my Switch friends started playing a game. Oh, okay. I will. I didn't see. I love those little cameos. I forget who it was, but I saw like somebody that I knew on like some pro player's YouTube channel, like playing Smash, and I saw like someone I knew pop up as their Switch friend. Uh, I think okay, I saw Lucina. I might be crazy. Nope, Lucina. You're not crazy. Yeah, Honda plays Lucina too. Man, Super I will say though, Smuna well. has been playing a million different characters. Three, two, no, I'm kidding. One, go. C4's on Kirby. Ooh, almost got a grab there. Uh, has it fallen off? No. Oh. But now Kirby's at the highest percent of anyone. JK. Holy cow. We just saw a series of unfortunate events for Lucina. Oh, man. Wow, that worked out so well. That was both members of Green Team. I, That's a clippable moment right there. Oh yeah, that I feel Robin like, back air. That was just like, <laughs> I feel like that up smash was just like, hey, let's just start up smash and see what happens. But it worked out. More or less. Up tilt gonna do the job versus Lucina there. I, I, my mic is C4 picking up that one. noise. I don't know what that is, like fireworks or something outside. It's very quiet. Well, the C4 on the right side finally being detonated, but only hitting the teammate. Army getting yeah, it was a little risky. Greedy out here. Help us, Robin, and. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> he was still trying to catch with him, with the uh, Nikita. Oh, what can we do? Nope. Oh, he makes it. They both barely make it. Good patience. Evil Goku's stalling a little bit. To let army recover. Oh, that's gonna be it. But I don't think Evil Goku wanted to die there. I don't think he was keeping track of his jumps. Um, 
they were all at a pretty decent percent, but it, a trade in that situation, no matter the percents, wasn't worth it because red team has another stock. Green team doesn't. Oh, you're right. They're a full stock ahead. I didn't realize. Here comes, oh, here they comes. did there it! Goes. They did it. I, it happened the so fast. Even. The game is now even. It happened so fast, I wasn't ready. Is that what's going to save them the game and allow them to win the set? Do it again. It, it very well could be. If they do it again, it surely will be. Oh, again. Oh. Maybe oh. if he didn't hit him with the up B. There was a very good chance that they could have killed Evil Goku if that didn't hit him. That <laughs> nearly killed. Oh, Evil Goku using the Kirby crouch to avoid that projectile. Ooh. Very nice reaction there. Yeah. Uh, uh, that was a series of punishes, and it worked out in Red Team's favor. Oh, they and that fair will not take it. But that back air certainly will. All right. Very nice work from Smoon on Honda that game. So if they're going down, they're going down swinging. They've taken a game. Character switch so far working. Lucina being probably a pretty good uh, good option against both of these characters, honestly, because she can hang off stage with both of them. If you've got the stuff, yeah, she both also got Kirby and Snake can be very uh, vulnerable. Off yeah. Stage. She did get suck and cucked pretty easily, though. She did. But that was on a trade that didn't really favor Evil Goku. Army picking the army Oli. Oh, did he swap? He swapped from Snake to Olimar. I will say, I tried I like some Olimar in doubles the other night, and I did not like it. I don't think I would he's... not know how to do it. Like, I don't know. I just didn't like it. He's a singles character to me. Does, does the white picker even spike? Uh, they all spike. I thought, I, I like thought that they didn't, but they could all spike. Ooh, down smash catching Robin on the way out. He was holding. Yeah, looking for a team play there, I guess. Wow, okay, the forward air is gonna get a pretty fast kill on Smuna. Oh, wow, that shield looking so small on army. Could have been a dead Olimar. But the skill shield held out. Seeing Olimar definitely playing point for the green team. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, there's the punish. The punish yeah. There, there's the up smash, yes. Had the purple first in line, too. I feel like that might have meant to go the opposite way, that shield breaker. Yeah trying to throw the purple out to cover himself, but Robin gets there with a uh, 11 sword aerial, which we all know are smash attacks in disguise. Good rock there, catching the jump from the ledge by Smuna, and take out the second stock. So there's a big difference between stocks available, one team to the other. Oh. Uh, Honda not gonna be able to make it back, dying at 76 there. Okay, totally uh, ahead by two stocks right now. Let's see if green team can keep their lead. 
there's, I guess, one reason to have Lamar and doubles. They get, you know, the other teammate catches someone in a jab. Yeah. Rapid jab. Boom. You put a white Pikmin on them, double up smash them. They're at 60, 70 percent. So, okay. That was almost a dead Kirby. If that first hit of that one did hit. But they play too close to the ledge again. All right, Honda all alone. Let's see what they can do. Well, looks like nothing, unfortunately. That'll be yeah. it. Just that, that edge guard from Kirby is like, it's just too far. Anyway, Evil Goku and Armio will be moving on. I mean, that's at 3-1. Hey, I get channel points. Oh, yeah. How many are you at right now, out of curiosity? Um, well, I bet 2,000, and I had about 6,500. Oh, yeah, so I should have 8,500. There you go. That Mario Party ticket could be yours. Hmm. I'm always curious how many... Well, it uh... refunded me. Huh? Oh, well, I it just... It refunded me. I haven't gotten my bonus yet. Oh, well, see, nobody bet on the other side. So you get nothing. What? Yeah, isn't that fun? Isn't that a good feature that Twitch has? Is is that how that works? That is how it works. You only get... That's garbage. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, it doesn't like generate new points. You can only get other people's points. It sucks. Well, then I'm not betting anymore. <laughs> That's why, yeah. That's why I have people, like Guy will do it, and I have a few other people who don't care at all about their channel points. So if I ever see somebody bets like a large amount and the other side is empty, I just hit them up and I'm like, hey, can you toss some channel points on the other side, please? Because <laughs> it feels bad. Like, it's dumb. Yeah. It's a bad system. Twitch needs to revamp that system. Yeah, they do, but they don't care. It doesn't work the way it does. Or doesn't work the way I think it's supposed to. Yeah, I would be okay with people like I, like I don't know. Why does it matter if someone has a lot of channel points? Like I guess it's a like they don't generate new channel points ever. Besides just watching, <sighs> you just I steal guess. other people's. Okay. It is a bad system. Get a quick snack before this loser's final starts. Yeah, I might be getting snacks soon, too. Yeah, no arena found? Yeah, what are you talking about? They did it wrong. I promise that's the right arena makers. Alright, the prediction is up. We all know how good the predictions are. It's only really a problem because it's a small stream. Like, when you get to, like, larger... Because it's only an issue when there's, like, zero points on one side. But, like, once your stream gets large enough, like, when you see any stream over, like, 100 viewers, there's always, you know, bets on both sides. I mean, even lower than that. I'm sure if I had, like, 50 viewers, there would be at least one person who would bet on the side. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Okay, so how's the Discord stream, by the way? Is the quality good on it? Yeah. That's fine. There have been a few momentary freezes, but nothing horrible. Okay, that's good. Because before it was just low quality, but like I, like um, on Epic Games, though, they gave away three months of uh, Discord Nitro, and that lets you stream at higher quality. Oh, yeah. I think it's only 720, 720p 30fps if you don't have Nitro. Nitro is low-key worth it 
if you use Discord all the time. I mean, I do, but like, I don't know. I don't really care about because what it gives you that, and then like you can use emotes from other channels, right? And you can have like an animated like profile picture. Yeah. You also get a free boost towards any uh, any server. Yeah, that reminds servers me, with more boost servers. levels can. Yeah. Servers that are boosted can have, like, just across the across the board higher quality audio quality. Oh, you're right. I see that. Levels. Looking at it now. I don't know. I don't think I use Discord like like most people. My grandson says I still have the code. Oh yeah, but you can give away the code. That happened to somebody else that I was talking to, so they like, tried to redeem it. They wouldn't let them. At least they are like at least they're like, oh you can give the code to somebody else though. But like I don't use Discord the way most people do, I feel like. I have like like all the servers that I'm in are like really specialized, and I feel like I see a lot of other servers where it's just like a really big server that just has a ton of different like sections and voice channels. So I I, yeah. I don't know. All my stuff is spread out. It would be convenient. Like like we have like servers that we just like we just never use the text channel in like ever. <laughs> we just DM each other. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of wouldn't mind if I just had, like, a big server with sections. That would be kind of neat. For 50. Man, the army lost a stock real early to the stick. Oh, Goku's oh, but... done for. Oh, he got it though. Mako's getting caught by the up B. Mako's actually uh, tried to air dodge up to the ledge and missed. Oh. And that's that's why we're still out there to die. Suddenly, the the pressure just goes on to be able to hold on to that stock and until the lead gets bigger. Oh, speaking of that, you know. Oh, nice, nice smash attack there. You know how characters have different, like, uh, recovery times after a directional air dodge? Yes, I don't know why. Okay, so Olimar's is horrible. For some reason. He... I don't know if it's the worst in the game, but it is so long after you directional air dodge. I actually had, um, a lot of trouble with that. Because like I said, I, there was a time where I just played King Dedede for like a year straight. So it turns out King Dedede has one of the fastest recovery times from air dodge. Wow, this game is in red team's favor a lot. But Which is surprising to me, because King Dedede is, you know, slow at everything. But he was for top in the game, I'm pretty sure. I think Min Min has beaten him out now since she came out. But it was like... That was one thing that was really hard for me when I played other characters, because I just like thought air dodge, directional air dodges were so much safer than they actually were. Min Min of all characters. Yeah, does she deserve Why that? Not? Why not give Min Min some obscure significant advantage? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of weird, and it seems like they're decided at random, right? Like, why does King DDD have a super fast one and Olimar have a really slow one? Doesn't make any sense. Okay, Evil Goku was tired of that. He didn't want to be playing in that anymore. Poor guy. A weird decision. You know, he could have just sat on one side of the stage for 46 seconds. <laughs> I don't think I would ever give up in doubles, unless it was like really, really laggy or something. I don't, I don't think I would, I don't think I would give up on any Smash match. Yeah, especially when you've got another teammate to be playing for, unless they are specifically telling me 
Don't worry about it, just SD. We'll get him next game. Yeah, but either way, I don't know. Like, I don't know, it's just fine to get fucked up real quick. Maybe he didn't want to be on, on uh, Mabel's Twitter. That was my greatest fear when I was fighting against Mabel in doubles. I was like, oh, don't get clipped. You, c you can lose, just don't get clipped. That's actually fair. That's actually quite fair. Because um, I'm pretty sure that I ended up on Kiwi's Twitter or SGK's Twitter, one of the two. Oh, no. Even even when it was the... Because the, we've met them in Grand Finals three times, Chase mm -hmm. and I have. And we've beaten them one of those three times. But I think it was during the one that we actually beat them that I ended up on their Twitter. Yeah, that Twitter doesn't have to know who won yeah. the match. <laughs> yeah. I got clipped super hard in a crew battle, and it was on... Um, What's that channel? Yeet Smash? It was on there, and I was like... Oh, yeah. Uh, but that time, I was like, hey, I won this match. Whatever somebody would send it to me, I was like, I won that game, though, so... <laughs> I I was a part of one particular double set that I, I'm pretty sure had three separate plays end up on Yeet Smash. <laughs> I've been on Yeet Smash, I think, two or three times, and it's always been me in a neutral or losing inter interaction. <laughs> I'm tired of it. Stop putting me on there. <laughs> yep, record your own clips, send them in. That's the way to get on Yeet Smash in the good way. Send your own clips in. Yeah, but I play DDD, I don't do anything cool. Well, <laughs> pick up a more hype character yeah. like, like bread and butter, meat and potatoes, Ike. He gets clips. I like Ike. Alright. I noticed Armory, Armory only uses the whistle, like, kind of a lot. I don't know. I don't really know when the whistle is good to use. Oh, oh wow, that gave fire catching him real wow. early. That is an early stock. Everyone else looking fresh. I'm making it look like Lucas just beats the crud out of Olimar. Because this whole time, the last game and this game, it just seems like it's a bunch of Makos just absolutely destroying Olimar on the, on the first stock. Oh man, Makos getting the, the back at her tongue. I wish I knew enough about the character to tell you how Army could come back from this deficit and do better in the next few stocks or the I mean, next game. He could try playing more like a zoner, Chalmer but, can do. Yeah, I just I just don't know. The only thing I can offer as an outsider now is make him stay the hell away from Lucas. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I didn't see how many- oh, that's gonna be Mabel's first stock on. I didn't see how many Pikmin army was trying to recover with, but they could always try doing it with a little bit less to go faster. I do know, I saw some ridiculous thing with, um, well, make us move, you know, with, um, Olimar and, like, his whistle, because it, like, makes him, in he's invincible when he uses it some frames but you he can has, basically uh, super armor. oh is it super armor i thought he was like invulnerable for part of it well, i'm assuming it's the same as it was in brawl and back in those days it was super armor but anyway there's something where you can like go to the ledge and like get off the ledge and time the whistle in such a way that you can re-grab the ledge without ever having been vulnerable oh weird so, so if you were, I'd imagine it's really, really tough to do, but imagine like if you were so good at it that you could just get the first stock of the game and then just do that for seven minutes. <laughs> I mean, 
ledge. And he against Dr. Mario. Nope, no chance. Oh, again, pass to the other side, down B. I, like, I've been playing Doc all the time. I still can't figure out when that happens, when it, like, passes you to the other side of Doc. But I pretty unlucky. There's so many moves in the game that I just don't know. Oh, Eva Goku getting rid of the, one of the best projectiles in the game. And that's the reason, but Mabel mashing out instantly, again. Actually, a little surprised he went for the same thing a second time when Mabel was still at zero. Oh. Seeing how quickly... The Do you see what I mean about Doc, out. man? No. Okay. I'm not even rooting for one team over the other but in this game, sucks. but I'm just you hate so to see mad that. that that just happened anyway. Okay, but the forward error, we're going to take it out. Like, poor Mabel. They were just minding their own business. Red team up 2-0 right now. Alright, what's the pick going forward? Well, I don't know. That stage went horribly. Most of the time, I just won't go back to where somebody won. Even if, like, they didn't win it for, like, a, a reason or anything, but... Mm -hmm. I just don't want to oh. go back where someone won, usually. Who beats up Lucas that, that Army can switch to? Because, uh, as it stands, it seemed like he's got a Lucas problem. At least in this particular set. Goes back to the snake. Everyone else stays. Right, I'm gonna grab a snake real quick. Now, watch for the C4 on Kirby's face. They're absolutely going to start out the set that way. Question is, can Evil Goku get a grab in the first five seconds? It would probably have to be on Mabel. Uh, Lucas is going to be hard to grab so quickly. Um, what? Okay. I think they got a wrong stage or something. Does the uh, bracket chat say that there's a different stage or did they pick the wrong stage Oh, wait, isn't it 2-0? They haven't reported 1-1. One, one. Oh. Oh, that's odd. So I remember it being 2-0. Yeah, it's just reported wrong on Smash GG. Now, do they have to call on a moderator to change that, or can you just I can just do that? it. Call a moderator doesn't actually, like, it just puts, like, a little flag and gives me, like, a notification. I see. Have you had any of those tonight? Um, you'd have to ask Guy. I would say possibly not. I don't actually do much moderation anymore, because operating the stream is takes most yeah, of my attention. Absolutely. All right, now I'm actually getting a snack. I was, <laughs> I was in my roommate's room and he had my stream up, and I saw like that everyone was SDing, and I had to run back to change the stream. <laughs> Guy says there was only one mod request, and it was not a lag test. Ooh, good spot dodge by army there. But still, just on his own option, it's gonna get covered by Nakos. It is just in this particular set being such a demon to Oli, to army. <clears throat> Stuck in shield, but 
Okay, there we go. Uh, are we getting some kind of stage control? I almost wonder if they were going to try to put a C4 on him there. They lose that stage control, and once again, Army gets his uh, his ledge option covered by Lucas. The form of down smash. Army potentially on his tournament stock. Everybody else with two left. Goku's gonna have to get that Kirby side. Still, each time he does it, Mabel's breaking out fast enough and he's not footstooling Mabel or anything quick enough. Tries to catch that air dodge, does catch it, doesn't send him off stage. That would have killed Doc most likely. But no dice. So still, the lead remains in favor of Red Team. Evil Goku definitely trying to cover for Army's recovery options at this point. But Army choosing to jump and do a very unsafe back air on the shield of a Dr. Mario. Takes the stock and air dodges off stage. If that doesn't take wind out of sails, I don't know what does. This is a very uphill climb for Evil Goku at this point. And I'm not sure I see it happening. Maybe we'll get the grab. I'm trying to say, hey, just come up smash him or something. Doesn't happen. But it's not like any flubs in coordination right now are going to do such a big disservice. Best spike coming through. Make us recognizing the evil Goku had nothing else to do but Kirby side comes off and punishes the attempt. And just like that, Loser's Finals is done. All right. Rio. What was the uh, what was the stocks looking like that match? Um, There were three stocks left at the end of that game. I forget who had one and who had two. Ah. But, um... Oh, hey, Nugen, thanks for the follow. Army just picked a, a few too unsafe options uh, that got covered or punished out of shield. A, a few too many times off stage and one or two back airs on a shield that weren't safe versus, say, a dock up the or up smash. And then when Evil Goku was left in the deficit, he didn't have much to do other than Kirby side, and when he tried, Makos came down and just spiked him for trying. So, people go Kuhn Army. Holding that, that L for third place. And now we will see the rematch of Winner's Finals, but in Grands. for it to auto verify. Oop. They they left, huh? Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, it's trying to go to game four, never mind. It's just being weird. Oh, uh, because of the report? In the I guess. I don't know. I'm just gonna reset match. Reset. Quick report. I don't know. Like I said, Smash G sucks.
All right, getting started with grand finals here at the run back. So she gets to get the scoreboard set up here. If you're in chat and you got channel points, let me know who you think is going to win. Is it going to be Slushy and Brujo, or is it going to be Mabel and Mekos? Now, Slushy and Brujo did win um, 3-0, right, in uh, Winner's Finals? They did. They were all really close games, though, so we shall see. ground pound coming out frame one. It hits so far away. Uh, it's so goofy. And because of it, Mabel's already at 40. Carol currently without his crown. Nobody's picking up to use it, though. Just playing their, their own game with no items, as they know. Mekos came to the aid when seeing that K. Rule had his teammate off stage. And that's one thing that we we didn't see. I, I think enough of in the winner's final set. So if behavior like that continues, it'd be a very different ball game, you know. Yeah, I just saw a real funky crown interaction. It was coming back to K. Rule, and Mabel caped it. And it like did a little loop de loop and then just kept going back. Okay, so trading stocks here. Still dead even. Make us trying to get the, the PK Thunder 1 and the PK Thunder 2. It just fizzled up just a little too early. It could have been a lot more damage. <clears throat> Very even game so far. Nobody's held onto his stock long enough to, to create a significant extra credit advantage. Oh no. Man, what happened to Mabel? I don't know, I was too focused on Yeah, I didn't I didn't look, but they died at eighty seven. Still holding away from the down throw when the up came out. A little lucky that DK didn't die, but the PK3 is going to catch him anyway. Propeller saving K. Rule. Make us knew that K. Rule was out of options other than the uh, up But the propeller being such a good hitbox above. Just a lot happening right now, so quickly. Ooh. Nidaia trying to steal the ledge from uh, K. Rule. Didn't do it in time, but still caught the, the get up. Alright. Okay. 1v2. Twitter combo's incoming. Yeah, I know. They're looking for him. I think they're kind of out of our center range at this point for anything too insane. Did K. Rule Belly just save him from a freeze? <laughs> I didn't catch it, but I bet it could. Anyway, though, fantastic pill into down B from Mabel. Oh, 
I love seeing pill and uh, anything. I kind of wish some, um, I kind of wish some more big name players would play in TND occasionally. Like we had, well, Dark Wizzy played once, I don't know if you played that week, but, um, I don't believe I did, I think that was before I started coming around. Well he played, and then I, he like DM'd me on Twitter after, and he's like, oh thanks for the tournament, and he's like, yeah, like, DM me like whenever you're having another tournament and I'll come and play. It was a blast. And I was like, oh, sick. And I messaged him the next week and he just never answered me. <laughs> and then we had Rickles uh, two or three times. Oh, that was cool. Week See, I guess Mabel and Supergirl Kells are pretty big names, and they're very yeah. commonly entering. Yeah, you're right. I guess I, I'm just taking them for granted a little bit, you know. Also, Cheeks is gonna be a big name, right? At oh, least I Bills. agree. Oh, we've got Jaja Jaja. Oh yeah, that too, an armadillo. Mm-hmm. PK freezing everyone, only hitting the teammate. Don't you just hate it? <laughs> That's one thing about like, like PK freeze, and there's a lot of other characters like that in doubles. They have a lot of moves where it's like, you just toss it out, and it's kind of out of your control because it takes so long to get to where your it actually like activates. Mm -hmm. It's like You're every, kind of counting on the situational yeah. awareness of your teammate plus the options available to them. Absolutely. Ooh, is that a dead DK? Forward throw. Uh, forward throw. Okay, I was expecting maybe up throw. Maybe it was a DI mix up. Maybe so. Because he went straight 90 degrees to the right. Oh man, no tech. And Slushy or Brujo, I don't know, K Rule, gonna lose it, their stock at like 50. Yeah, and that was when. Uh, that was with threatening a dock off stage. Mabel just recognized that the nair was happening, drifted out, and just recovered. I don't know if that uh, reversal was necessarily meant to happen. It was good enough to just get oh, yeah. out of the gimp and recover. That can happen a lot. It's, it's the same with characters like Lucy and Unmirth. It's like, oh, you're just recovering and you get a kill. Mario and Doc kind of the same thing going on. Okay, we're we'll here just really putting out whatever safe hitbox is next in line. Okay, they go some of their last like... stock. Stocks are even right now, but percent lead for red team for sure. Big rage up air. Alright, 1v2 now on Donkey Kong. Oh no. <laughs> oh, we're so close to Twitter right now. No, it's not happening. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is still really cool anyway. <laughs> oh, what? what? No. kind of hit box. No. That didn't hit him. Why don't I have a hitbox like that? That didn't I hit him. I need to switch to Doc. Good grief. <laughs> All right, it was pretty cool. So, uh, right now, this set is in danger of going exactly the opposite of winner's finals. Of going, that is, 3-0 in the fable of in the favor, in the favor of Mabel and Makos. Yeah, something has changed. 
Same characters, same stage. Well, we haven't seen SDs come out. We've seen a lot of a lot better recovery from red team in general. And when they've won neutral, they've just taken a lot more from it. Well, wrong stage. What I've been seeing. Supposed to go to town. Mabel right now, just being thrown back and forth. Oh, just do it. <laughs> Make us look like intimidating K roll into the into dying. So where were they meant to go? They're going to town. Dangerously close to seeing uh, another early stock taken away from Mabel. This was a buffer double jump. DK threw out a back air, but didn't quite connect. I always do get to hear, right? hear Mabel just tossing up double jumps. Apparently taking advantage of that crown. Oh, but it hits Makos. Who is already having trouble getting back up? And right now, stage control has been just enough in favor of blue team that uh, it's looking worse for red team, even though the the percents are more or less even. But one of these teams. Yep, there it goes. I was going to say, one of these teams has a higher chance of a stray hit taking the stock, and we saw it there. Nearly seeing another early stock there. Oh, man, yeah. Unsackable. Looks like um, K roll dropped off Fletch for a second there. Oh, maybe. It might be in a Mabel. Yeah. I respect the reset attempt, but uh, it. Just didn't work out. DK right now, 177. Oh, he's gonna fall to a dash attack by his own teammate. A uh, shame for them because uh, they could have really used that rage to take out Lucas's second stock with another, well, stray any move. Just like that, second stock on the same DK is not seeming so fresh anymore. Okay, going out there with a the forwarder to take out Makos. Three to four right now. Well, oh, I spoke too soon. All right, now a stock lead in red team's favor. Oh, oh. break out of the combo string.
Carol's Nair has successfully broken him out of a few combo strings now. You wonder when they're gonna read the next one. All to smash. Or right, there to save well, him from dying there. to yeah. uh, Mabel's up smash. You're right. Oh man, okay, get him to tech that time. Tech. He's died too many times to getting slammed in the stage by Mabel's up B. Oh! Oh wow, okay. <laughs> they traded? I don't know what Mabel hit them with. I think it was uh, an up B. Just facing the wrong direction or something. Nice tech from Mabel though. Oh, good. and there's the up B. The 3 0 -oh, grand finals. Something. We've got the reset. Let's see. UltimateFrameData.com. Is going to scroll three. on down to Dr. Mario. It's your 3 or 4, three. actually. I you don't already know. know. Yeah. <laughs> I won't be 100% sure that it's 3. But I think it is. I mean, man, that was fast. Yeah, it's active on frame 3. I wish this site also had knockback and knockback growth. Yeah. It's got everything else. And it's not great for some stuff. I was trying to look at Almar on there, and it like doesn't have him and his Pikmin at the same time. Like It just shows the Pikmin with like a circle around it for, say, like up um, smash. Yeah. It's not very useful. I've seen other characters just like that. I think Min Min actually is one of those. What, having a... Oh, weird. being weird, yeah. Or it just shows, like, her yeah. arms. For other, every other option, that's actually a great site for reference. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, we'll see how this one goes. I mean, we've seen two sets between these teams, and they've each gone in a completely different way. There's a new um, channel point prediction up, by the way. If you predicted the last one, I I count them separately. I don't know, because that was a set. Okay, so everyone stood still for just long enough at the beginning of that that I was <laughs> wondering if they had chosen the wrong stage again. Yeah. But it was just that they were all trying not to overcommit to something to start the game. They're all, I, I think they're all trying to think a little harder now. Think critically about every decision, including the very first one they make. Oh, man! Fantastic string by Mabel there. Yeah. Good lead for a team. We'll see if they keep it. And there goes Megos covering the disadvantage option from his teammate. A big, big play in doubles. Eventually, Mabel does die, but that's, you know, just long enough that. Oh, the big monkey swing getting Megos. Yeah. Mabel trying to cover a neutral get up, but DK does not pick the neutral. That's going to be a regrab. Oh. Does not go punished. Right now, just kind of two separate one v ones happening. Mabel finally landing the kill of B. Oh. Get out of there by Makos. That was a good stalling right there. They were both red team was both off stage. And Makos knew, you know, Mabel only has one recovery path, so Makos kinda stalled with PK freeze. So that he would be in the way. Okay, down throw to dash attack. Alright, uh blue team with a perfect one stock lead right now. DK only at thirty. DK 
gotta hate when your teammate covers the same option as you. Yeah. And and uh, the opponent doesn't take that option. Mabel and Makos both tried to cover the same jump option, and they ended up just hitting each other. Oh no, attack from Makos there, but he will make it back. <laughs> that was close. Recovery. Meanwhile, on the left side here, K Roll is practicing teching Docs up B. Okay, the spike. I like it. That was after waiting a second to make sure that the other side of the stage didn't need some help from the teammate. And now, uh -oh. what was a, a good lead for Blue Team has turned into a pretty even game. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, just don't buffer the air dodge oh. on that, you're fine. Uh oh. Oh no! Jab into jab into it. It's so interesting seeing them go for PK freeze in these one v two combos. It's very weird. As the teammate, I, I'm someone who hasn't really teamed with Lucas before. I'd be very nervous of that. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Just gonna okay. Catch him. Interesting Ooh. way to end it. Game one in true grand finals goes to the little short guys and just victory from the jaws of defeat there more or less yeah i felt like it it was a pretty tight game but there was an edge that blue team had for most of it until right at the end At this point, I'm pretty sure everyone is pretty well set in the characters that they're playing. We're not going to see any changes there. Yeah. I would say that, but Mabel sometimes will just whip out the hero in Grand Finals, so... Huh. But maybe not in this set. Because these have been fairly close games. They've only ever played Doc against... me. They've been doing hero a bit more recently. Good recognition that the DK ground pound was in range. It was a smart shield at the start. K roll with no crown at the moment. DK picks it up, but is in disadvantage. As of right now, neutral has gone the way of each team just about as much as the other, but... Wow, Whoa, I thought Mabel okay. was getting hit by that. They had a PK freeze. Means it. Yes. Oh, you hate to see anyone trade with DK side B like that. Yeah. All right, the lead is here for blue team. TKFB just going right through the pills. Oh man, that is gonna hurt for red team. Very good stock trade there. All because the roll behind grab didn't pan out. Um, oh, well maybe not, because K roll just SD'd real low. He just didn't recover. I think he did an aerial and like fast fell and just didn't have time to be. The aerial wasn't even hitting anybody. Oh and man, there goes DK, I didn't see what happened to him. The blue team had a solid lead here and especially with spiking Mabel at such a low percent. But it's all gone now. Lead is super duper gone. Oh, Mabel trying to catch that. Very good try. Oh now, man! Does get the help from Makos and the. Confirm. Oh, and they both get up into it. <laughs> okay, we have a one v one. Big percent lead for Makos right now. 
About 90% ahead and growing. Oh, tail. I hate that tail. <laughs> this looks uh, pretty tough for DK so far, I gotta say. But now he's finally back yeah. in neutral. For a lot of characters, Lucas is a complete menace once he puts them off stage. At least DK set has some uh, horizontal recovery, so it's not just an instant death, but it is a lot of damage. At this point, there's a lot of uh, stray hits that could kill DK, like a forward air. Okay, looking for a, a big read there, I guess. Because trip is guaranteed. Like. Oh! <gasps> No tech? That's it? Does he live? I don't think he lives. Okay! <laughs> wow. The online no tech from Kurgo Throw. It's I, I super important that. tech there. I've, I, Cheeks and I have played a lot of friendlies in this one uh, chat. We find people to play from in, uh, in this one Twitter chat. And there's a particular DK main who goes for cheesy grabs on the edge of the stage every time. I've been on the receiving end of thinking you can tech, but not getting the tech yeah. so many times. So many times. I sympathize with that. Does not change the fact that the, uh, the set is now evened at one to one. That's crazy. Really, though, if you eliminate the times that a, a Dr. Mario stock has been lost early. Yeah. Winner's finals would have gone differently. Um, it didn't happen in the first set of grand finals, but that was a big momentum swing in game two there. Eliminate that. Red team won. Good rule behind. I think it's going out there to help his teammate and instantly go back there and, uh, and catch catch K rule trying to do the same. Wow, the back air train yeah, coming out. I feel like any other doc in the world would have just died there. Well, now it's dead. No! That's not a dead stock. Wow. I'm still holding on. Oh, that'll be it, right? Now that's a yep. dead duck. Yeah. That stock is finally, it's gone. <laughs> but only after surviving just barely. I, I mean, that was a nine lives kind of stock there. Okay, good PK freeze. Ooh, a really good try on, the, on that wave land onto the platform. Nearly got that stock off the K roll. What do we do? Do we 2v1? Nope. We okay. insist that K roll can die, and K roll can die. Now, Makos just needs to hold on to that stock, and Mabel needs to not get caught off stage. All right, everyone in two stocks now. Pretty close game. Mabel needs to get back to center stage. Nice confirm there. Okay, a little up air coming out. Yeah, these two super heavies have had a lot of good awareness. Oh man, great back airs from DK right there. All right, blue team with the stock lead. Take another. Oh man, they really wanted that spike on Makos. They really did. 
DK went for the double spike, and when that failed, Carol came out with the back air saying, I will. Whoa, okay. Unfortunately, gonna kill his own teammate there with Lucas. Lucas down tilt. It's a really good move. Oh, okay. Nice 2v1 damage on DK there. Mabel, I think, has a jump. Yeah, okay, gonna live. But Mabel will not be living from that. Yeah, that's Great. A good start. Mako's three stocks to take, two stocks to take. <laughs> oh, no. Wow, that was a low back error. Good reaction to the missed back air from Lucas. For sure. Slushy and Brujo now only one game away from taking this ornament. Same characters. Let's see where they go. Town. Okay, I was a little worried that Nikos was just gonna not come back. I'm not sure what happened there. Okay. Oh. Wow. Maybe we'll get a ton of damage right now on DK. Yeah, so far this game has just been Mabel winning neutral over and over. And then I don't know, I think that was a forward tilt that closed out the stock near the ledge against uh, K Rule there. Coming out from Mekos there. Just charge the smash. I mean, when they don't have much better landing options, why not? Okay, a cargo throw securing a kill for Blue Team. Oh no, Mabel. Oh, that is dear. not what you wanted to be buffering right then. No. Unfortunate trade. That was, I believe, supposed to be a roll on the ledge. Because who would have thought? Who would have thought, you know? Who would have thought that would have traded with DK's up B? I actually thought it was just going to beat it. Soft hit, unfortunate. Not that I think it would have killed. DIing up would have. Super heavy like here well, would have just survived. Now let's see. Oh the Nair not quite sending DK to the right place. They could have gotten a whole ton of damage. Otherwise. Oh that was good. Cargo was throw good. upwards. K rule following up with the up air. I didn't see the percent I was at, but I think it was low. Uh I kind of want to say like 60-ish. But it was, it was not high. Now, oh wow, the charge DK slap. We're gonna get that kill. Or the clap, my bad. Very different from the slap. Each, each member of red team on possibly oh, their turn wow. is And he just... That forward air just barely slipping Mabel past the ledge. He just right. tossed out the forward air. Oh, and Mako's getting a spike of his own. All right, two stocks to take for Mango Zero. Let's see what they can do. Oh, there's the back throw. It's a 1v1. Got a little too greedy. In that kind of situation, when you've got the 2v1, 
all you could do by approaching Lucas on that platform is throw away stars. Yeah, that was absolutely a bait, just towing on that platform. Yeah, when when you've got the 2v1, you don't want to go off stage. You just want to play the 2v1. Edge guard at, at worst when the opponent is in disadvantage. I do think that approaching Lucas there was the wrong decision. Absolutely. And I don't think that that was just a fluke necessarily, like they oh. made the right oh. decision by trying to cover something. Almost had the I jab reset that... right there. Yeah. Oh, and there's the slap into the clap. Slushy and Brujo will be taking the tournament. 3-1 and grand finals reset. There it is. Getting that kill confirm. All right. Congratulations to Slushy and Brujo. Great showing. Well done to them. Yeah. This, <laughs> these matches were so exciting. They just found all of the right early stocks to take at the right time. That's that's the super heavy way. Well, that and, was exciting. I'm all for it. That final 1v1. Yeah. Just went the right way. Well played. There was some cool stuff. That cargo throw to up air. Uh, each of those... Each of those spikes. I mean, they just really went out there and every time they, they found the opening to take an early stock, they took it. That's not easy to do. Well done. Oh, yeah. Well done. Also, hey, Slushy, if this isn't you that I added in Discord, let me know. Uh, Taylor Hannah, thank you. Uh, they said they, they love the commentary. That's my old teammate. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's who I entered with last week, and he hadn't played in like a year. <laughs> Chris, hang on. I'm going to close the arena after this because I want to turn off my music and smash. You playing that up throw affair? I love the up throw affair. Over the phone? Wait, are you not in voice chat with your partner? Actually, yeah. For Over me. the phone sounds like you like made a call before the set. Eh? You're not? <laughs> That's uh, surprising to hear. Okay, now they are. Oh. I was going to say, it's friendly, say, that, like, I can understand not being a voice That made it sound right? like you like called him up like like the day before, and you're like, hey, listen, man, during the tournament, let's try for up throw up air. <laughs> Anyway, that'll be the stream, but uh, congratulations to you guys. Great games. Uh, really fun to watch. Oh, wait. You mean? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Over the phone. I understand. But yeah, thank, thank you guys so much for playing. That's good to hear. I, I appreciate it. I enjoy putting it on. But thank you for everyone who watched, everyone who played, everyone who chatted. Uh, you guys rock. Also, thank you to uh, Scowl for commentating tonight. Cheers. It was fun. Okay, awesome. See you guys. Have a good night. Bye.